Five? Yes, maybe. Yes, maybe. Yeah. Let's say yes. Hey, it is Chris Delp at the Free Play Arcade. Let's see. Come at you live from the Free Play Arcade Away Game Studios. That's what we're calling my house while I have it. <laughs> we are here. Um, uh, Ian's here. Mike's here. Is Game Tracks coming around? Whatever. Uh, he didn't mention anything, but uh, he's more than welcome to jump in whenever. Yeah, he's, he's welcome to jump in whenever. But uh, it's Wednesday. That means it's VGM Wednesday. I will be at Free Play Richardson later today. Free Play is open 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. So if you're comfortable coming out, please do come support the arcade. Um, that's why we're doing all this. Uh, but for now, uh, let's enjoy VGM Wednesday Live. We're going to talk games of speed. Um, I will transfer it over to you. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, it might, actually, it might take me a sec to uh, to line up. How are you today, Ian? I'm doing good. Um, I was actually going to ask Mike since we got him here if he has any like music related news. Music related okay. news. Well, yeah. Is uh, we had birthdays actually, last week. Yes. Yes. Honestly, well. When you mention that, um, I got a couple of birthdays here for you. <laughs> that are they <laughs> music related news birthdays? Of course. <laughs> let's see here. We have, uh, let's see, who do I recognize here? Um, <laughs> let's see, ah. R&B singer Stockley of Mint Condition is 53. Now, if you're not familiar with Mint Condition, they are they were a 90s, uh, not so much kids, but you know, like they were kind of like a, a new edition group from for the 90s, right? And they did have a song that I remember I specifically uh, dedicated to a girl I was dating at the time. So there. <laughs> There is uh there is that. And if you're wondering what the song was, I could tell you here in just a they moment. Have a best of, so Yes, absolutely. They're... Pretty Brown Eyes was uh one of their hits and the girl I was dating had some pretty brown eyes. So guess what I did? I dedicated her that song. Did you hold up a giant boom box? I so... you know what I should have, it would have helped. It definitely would have helped. This, this, just from clothing alone, they look like um, very mid '90s. Oh yeah, no, they, they were they were definitely '90s, and they had a couple other hits like, uh, you know, what kind of man I could be, and all other stuff. But oh yeah, they were a hit back then. So, um, Saint Paul, Minnesota. Yeah. Uh let's see here. Oh my God, this cover. <laughs> yeah, but that. Uh, Let's see here. That is about it for me. Um, hang on here. I've got to go on mute again for just a little bit, so I'll be back in a moment. That's fine. That's fine. Well, well, that was fun. brief and enigmatic as always. <laughs> there we go. Well, hey, it matches, right? Seems uh, got to go fast. <laughs> got to go fast. Hey, he, he went fast. So. There you go. Applause uh, to Mike back. You have the feed. Yeah, uh, all kinds of wildness happening on the screen. I don't know what that's all about. I'll clean it up. See what... But yeah, um, I guess we can talk about like this week's theme. Uh, I don't know what what brought it up. It could have been actually it was probably Tiger Lily's uh, picture of um, Captain Falcon wanting Tiger. to get Mike in there. Tiger holding Tiger. a uh, a Falcon or wanting to be some kind of Falcon. I was like, oh, speed speed sounds really good actually last time around. Where'd that get posted? And I, I know we've done uh it was on the Discord. Ah. I think it's just the chatting or one of the chatting ones. We have like stream chat and chatting. Um I figure we use that as heck. I'm not sure why our uh, icons that. jumped up, but they did. Okay. I'm 
I'm back. I probably won't be able to hang out too long today. I, I do have some uh, potential um, He's in contractors hurry. here. Contractors? Yeah. yeah, contractors here to do some. Are you uh, expanding a wing on the castle? That, actually, that's not far from uh, what's gonna what probably could happen here. We could mm -hmm. there could be a room expansion done here. So that uh, we'll we'll see we'll see. But yeah, I'm, I might have to just bail all together here in a few minutes. We'll see we'll see how it goes here in a minute. Be a be a Harry Hines uh, edition of the wing. <laughs> no, there's not gonna be a Harry Hines edition to the wing. So no. Oh man, oh that's that's pretty good actually. <laughs> that's pretty good. <clears throat> but yeah, that was about it. Um, I got a little. Uh, let's see here. What other? While you do all that, I do have a couple of the birthdays to of note here. Um, let's see here. Um. I'm gonna prep up some mic as Captain talking in the background. Where did they go? Should we get the uh, the the playlist going? Yeah, here. Let me. I was just giving it a few more. If anyone's gonna add more stuff to it. Put it. Also, singer Linda Ronstadt turned 74 today. 74, How about that? Oh, man. Yeah. Congratulations to her. And then we also have the... Um, let's see. Rocker Marky Ramone turned 64. Why do you sound so tired, Mike? I, I feel like you've had more sleep than both me and Ian combined. I sound tired? Huh? I sound tired? A little bit. Really? Alright, let's see here. <clears throat> That's... I feel fine. Alright. Oh, man. You Please know tell what? me it's not three hours of this song. Should no, be. Well, you know what? I I hope it's not. Tiger. I mean, I, we have to Tiger. play it again whenever GameTrex arrives in the, in the chat, but... Yes. Beyond that, let's see here. Oh, look, only 54 so seconds. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a point to play the song again. That's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the only reason we're doing this. Mm hmm. But no, gotta go fast. Um, I was trying to think outside the box a little bit, and um, you know, besides Sonic and like racing games, you know what I mean? Um, Kind of I got a couple of songs for you. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I can, I do. You want me to add them uh, live? I'll, I'll link them to you. you got I'll link them okay, to you. Okay. And and you know what? They they are safe because um, they are songs from the SNES game Rock and Roll Racing that use licensed music, but Ooh. they are in 16-bit form. Was that Blizzard's first game? I think so. What it was. I think you know it's weird. Like, there's been I, I've noticed a trend of like a lot of uh, I guess bigger companies having kind of like a small racing game because uh, Rad Racer is Square. Really? Yeah, Rad Racer is Square, mm -hmm. and um, what's another one? There was uh, was it Galaxy Five Thousand was something? That I'm uh, not familiar with. Five thousand. Yes. Let me go find your link. Here it is. Uh, that's Activision. There's another one that I think it was like rare. It was one of the songs I put on. Dude, Guys, Five Thousand was good. That was like my first like Mario Kart, pretty much. It was a difficult game. All right, there you go, Ian. Just shout it to you. Uh, okay. Um, All right. If you'd like to add songs in the chat. I'm going to add the YouTube playlist right there. You can click that link and uh, contribute and, to the playlist. Sorry, you guys were saying? 
Oh, uh, sorry, I'm reading what uh, Jamie was just. But um, so I I know the way to add to this playlist is like weird. Um, I guess just in general, it's like odd to get into. Let me show you guys how to do. It. So, uh, dang, Mike, you just sent me the whole playlist. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, if I... Mike, Mike. Yes. Which of this? Uh, I, no, there's only six. We're good. Okay. I yeah. can add them. All right. So, uh, so when you when you click um, that YouTube playlist, you'll see um, a, a pretty much like a playlist just like this. And I think it was on the top right, Mike. Remember when we were doing this last week? Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's like a contribute button on the top right somewhere up here. Hey. Yeah. It's supposed to be, but because um, I'm not a collaborator here. It Why don't you? Uh, uh, do I, I put it. I put it in the stream chat. Why don't you right-click and go to that particular window, like another in another window, and you can show everybody exactly what it looks like. Uh, I could post it again in the chat because this is our. Oh link no no right. it's yeah. yeah it's it would be the same link. So because I'm already a collaborator on it, the continue button is not going to be there. right. But it would be. But it's right it's pretty there. much like a yeah. It's pretty much the same thing. It's like a, it's a playlist is what it looks like. So it'll be on like the top right somewhere. Um, and then once you click contribute or whatever that button is, um, you go to your song that you want to add or any video really. Um, and then you'll ha you'll see this like save plus button. You just click on the save plus and then you find that playlist, click on it, boom. And then it should be added to there. Now, whether or not we get to it in um, uh, with Fred Boat, I don't know. I, I assume that this is adding stuff during. We should like maybe play test like a small playlist mm -hmm. and see what that looks like. Is Fred Boat like? Huh? Yeah, he, he, he's glitching there for a little bit for me too. Okay. Fred Boat is also tired. <laughs> uh, let's see. Eugene we work him hard during Mike B News. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever played rock and roll racing. It, it feels like I may have. It's I a fun game. I, I definitely did, yeah. It's like RC Pro Am. Yes. Yes. Yeah, like a like a 16-bit version of RC Pro Am with uh, licensed music in chip tune form. Exactly right. Uh, it was pretty fun. It was yeah. definitely fun. Yeah, that uh, that Galaxy Galaxy 5000 song was a or not song. But that game felt like RC Pro as well because it was like you know isometric, um, just raced around. But you had like uh, different weapons and stuff. So that was like my first taste of like this vehicle combat of some kind. Um, we're listening to Crash Team. Right? I so not having grown up with like an N64, this era of racing games for me was Crash. This Crash Team Racing, and I think I always bring it up that as a game that like. Me and my sisters were like fiercely competitive in, mm -hmm. and um, I think still are like to this day. It, it was like one of those first times that I realized, oh, my sisters are getting good at this. Uh, I need to step up the game. Really, you guys had a an inter squad rivalry that actually had you getting good at a game, right? Yeah. It's like, okay, we're gonna go fast. I never had with that those... experience with 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 a sibling. Oh man, it's. It's pretty good. Uh, I mean, it's not a fighting game necessarily, but this and like uh, some puzzle games like Tetris and stuff. So, but yeah, but this game was always fun to me. I think you know what? Uh, I think I had more fun with this than like playing Mario Kart. But then again, never had the console at home. So. And, and it's what your it's what your family was playing. So that's yeah. that's always more important than the 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 overall quality of the game like who what are you what are your friends playing what are what is your family playing what is what do you get yeah. local play at that's why the arcade is so special it's, it's about local play like that's always going to be more compelling i mean that's why st is like big now everyone yeah. started st everyone's playing st yeah it's it's the game is jank and busted <laughs> and we love it because we all kind of love it together speaking of st we've got a couple of st tracks in there what do we have here, actually? We have Bison theme, Guile theme, and Ken's theme. 
I... Oh, you know what? I understand the Guile theme. Good one, Jeremy. <laughs> Or who added that? I don't know the names in here. I think that was Jeremy Arikado. Arikado is Jeremy, yes. Sonic Boom, I get it, my dude. Uh huh. <laughs> Bison, though, I don't know why Bison. It does have um, a, and before th a fast theme to it. Yeah. Uh, especially when like the time is running out and stuff too. I remember that. I didn't have much of a opportunity to order. Uh add stuff before I went on the air, but I did want to make sure I added something, so I added uh, the Indy 500 stage from Indy 500 Racing, which is uh, one of the first racing games I won a tournament on. Um, played that one a ton at Gameworks Grapevine, and uh, also, I found that it was already added with no surprise, but uh, the Super Metroid theme where you... Uh, uh, the escape. Yeah, escape theme. There you go. Nothing quite like urges you to hurry up quite like that song yeah another ridge racer came up i'm, I'm kind of happy that these came up because um uh, game tracks was talking about it earlier um my only real big exposure to, to ridge racer i don't know if this is the same for you was the tekken load screen yes i remember when like tekken had well load screens <laughs> yeah it's um, hilarious yeah it was weird the Galag I remember the Galaga one for, for Tekken in particular. Where you beat the mm. beat the bonus stage on Galaga and you would get a uh a Oh yeah, a you gotta Yeah yeah. yeah you I think to... we we did that on accident. We're like, whoa, who's this person? Why are they here all of a sudden? Yeah, you had to beat uh the Galaga first um first bonus stage perfect with one ship in a certain amount of time, like you had to speed run it. And that would unlock mm -hmm. Devil Kazuya in Tekken 1. And it wasn't the Devil Kazuya that you know from Tekken 2, it was just a palette swap for Kazuya where he was purple. Yeah. Was he wearing a suit in that one? Uh, I don't think so. Oh no, I think he was just like purple. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, no, okay, so he has like one. a big blocky frame. He didn't have a suit, he's just a blocky version of Kazuya who was purple. But he had no like Wait, lasers or anything else to separate him from Kazuya. Man, good old very blocky. <laughs> well, man, I'm looking at, I'm looking, yeah, I'm looking at that too and like it's so amazing with what they've done with Tekken throughout the years. Like, that's as blocky and rudimentary as it is, what a great place to start from. And uh, with the exception oh, yeah. of you, Tekken 4, man, they've just killed it with every release. It's, it's amazing. I mean, hell, you can do that with... Or think about, like, the racing games. So, I remember, like, my first real big racing game that I kind of got into was uh, big, uh, Gran Turismo, the first one. And like there was a jump from like the first one to the second one where you're like even looking at um I, I always looked at the wheels like on the cars uh specifically because they had like a really cool like uh recording kind of playback feature on uh i think it was on graduation one too but like the wheels you know how like if you look at a car going fast the wheels are look like they go one way and then they start going the other way it looks like it i guess i don't know what that's called there's like an actual term for it but um I remember seeing that in a video game. I was like, wow, that's kind of amazing. Um, and even like later on, you'll see, uh, I think uh, Jerry added some also. I added it as well. This game called Driver. I don't know if any of you all ever played that game. Yes. But it's a... Uh, Driver 2 a little more yeah. than Driver 1, but yes. That game was awesome because you could also kind of like make your own replays, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, recreate your own bullet, I guess. Um, but I remember the the hubcaps in that game, if you turn like really quickly, the hubcaps would go flying off. And you can have that kind of cool camera angle where you put the camera down where the hubcap passes on all that stuff. That was a fun game. Great soundtrack for that game. Too. Uh, also, Tiger Lily, while we have you on here, 
we we unfortunately have to remove one of the tracks because I know that will definitely get like some kind of strike or DMCA thing. Um, the uh, the Superman, as much as I want to have it on there, yeah, that might the uh, trigger something. Yeah, we can't can't do the licensed music. I will say that I do think of uh, mu licensed music with racing games frequently. Yes. So um, you're, you're not off base. I think there's a song. For there's a song from Garbage that was like a part oh, of a yes. racing game. Uh, it was in Gran uh, Turismo 1, and it's, um, shoot. I can hear it in my head. Uh, I don't want to say Garbage <laughs> racing game. No, no, no. Garbage the band, and it's As Heaven is Wide from Gran Turismo 1. And yes, that was, that was definitely my favorite track from the Gran Turismo 1 theme. I think I... I think I'm Paranoid was one of them, too. Uh, they probably featured For that. Grand Turismo 2. Yeah. I, I I imagine there's a lot of, like, tracks oh, kind you. of, um, like, uh, this, too. Yeah, I think Crazy I'm Crazy Taxi is an entire, um, Offspring album. Yes. So. Easy enough to avoid, though, because I think there's a lot of, uh, person games that have their or their own kind of music. Mm -hmm. So with that, though, come to the hard part where, I mean, you look at, like, the images for, like, Gran Turismo and all that, it's really, it doesn't really have people in it. I can't think of a racing game with, like, characters except for, I don't know, Mario Karts or the different kart racing games. Um, Gran Turismo... Like I said, it's pretty much just the logo. Maybe a car. I think the first uh, Gran Turismo game... Yeah, it's it's not even a car on there. It's like a car covered up. It's just hilarious. Two, it's not even showing a car. It's just got the inside of the car. Let's see. Let's see... I would say the easy way out would be to pull up like a Sonic the Hedgehog game. I mean, the title of this entire playlist is pretty much Sonic based. But well, we're getting back into anamorphic uh, animals. We were kind of doing that like last week. Well, not animals, but characters. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. So, so what's the, like the first thing you think of when you think of you know, speed going fast? Um, Is it a racing game? I mean, no, it's Sonic. It's Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, yeah. I didn't have to look at the screen to say that. Yeah, it's it's definitely Sonic. Um, there's oh, there's other ones. I mean, there's many racing games, of course, that come to mind. Um. There's there's a racing game. There was a racing game I remember from the GameCube. I want to say, and I forget what the name of it was, but it was like Wipeout, and Wipeout certainly deserves its mention as well. Oh yeah, Wipeout itself. But this was a a motorcycle Wipeout game where you could actually create a sonic boom effect, and it was like the sweetest thing ever. Let's see if I can look it up. Huh. I remember. Oh, wipe that game. That game shit. Uh, XG3... Ex XG3 Extreme G Racing. Um, it was very much like Wipeout. And, oh, yeah. um... It featured, um... Featured motorbikes, right? Uh, or futuristic bikes, very much like Wipeout. And loop-to-loops and stuff. Mm. So, there was that. Uh, but... The coolest part of the presentation was it had the the music of the era, and then yeah. once you passed the sound barrier, you would hear the sonic boom, boom, and all the music would fade out because you're you've broken the sound barrier. And then that's you, awesome, actually. Yeah, and if you stayed going past um, the speed of sound, then eventually the music would fade back in. Um, but that was typically kind of hard to do because you're you're really moving that fast. Like that is, 
that is a special like speed in the game too where things are coming at you ridiculously fast so i had a lot of fun playing uh, xg3 uh, particularly with their their presentation they really crushed it man this game looks cool as hell it is cool as hell i mean like i said it's worth it for the it's worth the price of a mission just for the sonic boom effect I, I never have seen it done quite that well i mean that's something that, 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 that like there's nothing that equates speed quite like you know just hearing the boom and then having all sound go away i want to play that I'm game sure what's not all... all right i'm gonna this uh for nigel right now i've never seen that game i want to play it yeah, well, I mean, it was it was just a wipeout clone, right? So, so yeah, it yeah. was easily pushed aside. Um, but I picked it up on GameCube and and gave it a whirl and was just really, really impressed by how they did it. A claim too. Uh huh. And like all those wipeout style games, it was great except for one thing, and wipeout has this problem too: the damn mines. Mm -hmm. Mine, uh. mine power ups need to die. It, I guess it's way more difficult than Wipeout and like other track based games, you know what I mean? Because uh, I, I remember Wipeout being, I want to say small track, but it feels like it's like a more narrow track. It could be just like the, the field of view on there or something, but I just remember it being like smaller and like thinner. It reminds me more of like F Zero versus like Mario Kart, where you can kind of go off road. Whereas like in F Zero, it feels like you. I mean, you die if you go off road. Right, right, yeah, and and same for white. But like, if you just like get out of your racing line, because you're going so fast that, that yeah. any little deviation just destroys you. Um, which, you know, that's fine if if you have a racer pursuing you and they they shoot shoot at you, you know, from behind or whatever. Um, but something about people just haphazardly dropping mines during the 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 corners that you need to take that it was so cheap hmm. i think there's a second one or maybe it's so you, you said you Team played Team this on gamecube chris mm -hmm. you played it on gamecube right yes yeah. it looks hmm. like it's on ps2 also mike yeah i saw that what do you think is better chris the, or do you think they're the same game between the two systems Probably the same game. I, I I played it on GameCube. Double check. Wow, manual. <laughs> Remembers the manual. Remember when we had manuals? <laughs> mm -hmm. And you know, I'm saying that Extreme G one and two were on sixty four. Yeah, I appreciate like maybe a recent game having some kind of characters and stuff on it. Speedrun was something. Is that on the PC? I think it may have been on the PC for me. On speaking of F Zero, actually, you know what? why am I not looking up F Zero right now? That has characters in it. Everyone only remembers Captain Falcon, but I remember... God, I don't know their names, but the guy in the pink ship was annoying. I think the PS2 was a port of the GameCube. Everything, everything I'm seeing lists the GameCube. And then also says the PS2. You know, I am super surprised they haven't made any new F-Zeros. The, uh, I mean, there's a Game Boy Advance one. That might be the last one. One thing I will caution, if you're, if you're, Mike, if you're trying to get this game, or if you're trying to get uh, Extreme G Racing, is uh, you're gonna want to have that on original hardware, CRT. It's so fast. Like having emulator la lag is gonna crush you. But I know you have no shortage of CRTs in the castle. <laughs> Oh wait, I, you know what, I just realized you can kind of see them in the... Just thing. hold on. I can find a larger... You can kind of see them in the cockpit. I 
think it's the Smash. Yeah, this is the Smash version of the song too, which is just as good. Let's see. Jeff Zero. Let's see, big. It's pretty big. Oh, it's kind of uh, a little bit blurry. Let's see what we can work. Put in there. Do you want to click past this song right now? Oh, look at this. This is a oh, whole Famicom version. Our Super Famicom version. This is kind of, huh? Some we can work with. I've never seen this. Also, I didn't know Famicom games came in like a vertical package or cartridge kind of thing. It's, yeah, uh, we can man, that's, this. that's pretty cool. Right? It's got a comic book feel to it. Even get the boom. I wonder. I wonder if the, it came from anywhere. If it was like a specifically Nintendo. Like a commission at a manga or something. Or... Uh, that is solid, right. considering the the craziness that we've seen in, in cover art. Yeah. Let's see. Um, keep looking around and see if that's... Oh, this is cool. The Legos. The ships. History F-Zero. I know we got characters there. I'm, I'm assuming GX is the GameCube version. But yeah, GameCube. Uh, is it that or is that the arcade version? I know there's an arcade version as well. Oh, F Zero. Uh huh. Yeah, you're right. GameCube GX. Yeah, I want to say it's a raw thrills thing, though. M maybe I'm wrong. Let me look it up. AX Arcade and GX game. Yeah. That's a cool poster. Okay. Even more F Zero. Oh, I like this kind of extreme looking style. It kind of looks like that. Uh, there's an anime that's Red Line. I've seen Red Long. Oh, uh, Red Line. This song is by the Tony USA guy. Nice. They picked the right dude then. Uh, Andy posted a, uh, a live, I think, jam of uh, Daytona. Daytona. Oh, just in time. I, we, I say Daytona, and uh, Henry Job said, How's it going, man? Hello, it, hello. it was like Hola. it was meant to be. Good to hear from you. How's it going? We were What's just on, about guys? to yell Daytona and you popped in. <laughs> you summoned me. <laughs> we definitely started the show with that. Yeah. Daytona. You just, you gotta have it. You just But do. apparently this song right now is sung by the same guy. And it's an F-Zero medley song. Wow, that actually kind of sound, that actually does sound like him. So I yeah. totally believe it. Yeah, that's He's awesome. still doing his thing. How you doing, man? Doing great, man. Just um, lounging around. <laughs> Not yeah. a whole lot. I feel you. Yeah. To be totally that doesn't honest. Doesn't sound fast at all. <laughs> what lounging around? Lounging, lounge really fast. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if you can. You can be quick to lounge, which would be quick or fast. I would say. <laughs> but um. I mean, I've seen. I've seen the. 
couch that was turned into a car on the freeway, so it's kind of a quick lounging. <laughs> I think there's some kind of, um, isn't there like a Grand Theft Auto thing where you can mod yourself as like a couch? You, I think. As yourself? <laughs> yeah, I think you can like ride around as a couch. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I wouldn't that's doubt hilarious. that that's not real. <laughs> Hey Tiger Lily, high end noobs, how you doing? It's our, it's our, uh, yeah, Andy Nubs are our tech from Freeplay Arlington. Oh sweet, that is awesome. Yeah. His name always gets me. <laughs> it's 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 it. It looks more like Andy Nubs, right? Yeah, it, it's, it's yeah. It's like Andy Nubs, but he, he's named after his. Uh, he has a, a shorter finger on his middle hand. Oh, so so that, okay. <laughs> That's where the nubs comes from. Okay. I did say noobs at first, which is definitely not the way you <laughs> pronounce that. I'm terrible with pronouncing names. Always. Oh my not not when Mike Mike B is here. That guy uh that guy puts everyone to shame when it comes to terrible at pronouncing things. Mm. We've actually <laughs> got a new segment now where we just have him read vocabulary words <laughs> yeah uh yesterday we did pulchritudinous i've actually got a whole list of vocabulary words from uh from gory midori our doctor of psychology that was joining us during the stay at home period mm -hmm. and uh yeah we did pulchritudinous and uh it took him about 17 tries and he never got even close oh god that, that's a pretty big is it word. a medical term <laughs> Uh, it's just like no, term. it's not. It's it's just a word that means uh, extreme, like breathtaking beauty. Oh, ah, that why does it sound so ugly new then? Pickup line. Uh, just <laughs> words. Um, so we've been looking at a bunch of F Zero, appropriate since this has been the last few songs. Ooh, original concept art for the ships. Yeah, you literally can't think of speed without like F Zero and Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, uh, so what do you think of when you think of um, going fast? Well, we all know the answer, but <laughs> speed. Besides um, F Zero and Sonic. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I yeah, saw I think, you guys. I were... I'd leave the Sonic stuff for you guys. Yeah, I was trying to find like odd sonic songs like stuff maybe no one ever has never heard but um shoot what was i gonna say um i heard you guys were talking about extreme gt there uh, are extreme g g2 right earlier yeah 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 I that's a really good game a cool yeah i was telling him about the sonic boom mechanic where it just sort of cuts out the music and it slowly fades in if you man manage to stay above the speed of sound for a while Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah that part is intense I, I've never I seen anything that. quite like it yeah I remember um, renting that game way back in the day when the GameCube first came out because I want to say that was one of the launch titles or pretty close to it like maybe a month in or so yeah and I, I had the same experience that's, that's why I ended up picking up that version of the game is there weren't that many games to rent on, on GameCube exactly yeah they were coming out with like <laughs> a couple of games a month it seemed like mm -hmm. Getting a new, getting any new GameCube game was exciting back then. But yeah, that one particularly was really exciting. I was pretty addicted to those types of games, like the futuristic racers and stuff like that. I just didn't like the ones that emphasize combat all that much, kind of like um, Wipeout and stuff. I just like going fast. Right. And F Zero and Extreme uh, G Two was a lot like that. Like, there was combat in it, but it wasn't like you didn't have to be all combative to win a race. Yeah, and the only thing that drove me nuts in that game was the mines. Oh, yeah, on the ground and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, those are the worst. You can't, can't react to that. You're, you're moving past the speed of sound. Exactly. <laughs> F-Zero GX has that, too. Um, that's one of those games I actually recently beat on stream. Um... Has anyone here ever played the story mode of F-Zero GX? Uh, I haven't. Have you yet? I can't say I've played GX, like, at all. Like, we were just talking about how that may have been, like, one of the last F-Zeros? No, they had a Game Boy Advance one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they or had, two, um... Maybe. 
F Zero GX was the last console release, and then um, F Zero GP Legends, I think, is what it was called on Game Boy Advance, mm. was the last F Zero period, and they haven't re- they haven't released a new one since. You which is really sad, would, especially with like the um, new controller kind of options that has been happening since like the Wii, right? Mm-hmm. Who wouldn't I think... want to like turn a ship with the like Wii mode or something? So I read the reason Nintendo hasn't released another F Zero game is because they don't have a um, they don't they can't think of anything new to add to it, like any new mechanics or anything. And it's like you some games you don't have to change, like. Like, because do you know how with Mario Kart they change stuff like all the time? Like they'll add something new or whatever. I feel like mm-hmm. they want to do that with F Zero, and it's like you don't really have to do that. All you want to do in F Zero is go fast, get some new stages, maybe some new characters, better graphics. You know, you know they can take the same route as Mario Kart without adding gimmicks. Or or hell, yeah. I would I would appreciate a HD remake of F Zero GX. I feel like GX was damn near perfect. I think they could have just added, I don't know, a story or given more characters to the racers. See, they had a story mode for GX and man, it was, <laughs> I, it's so ridiculously hard. Like uh... it is insane. Like it, it really, really is. It is absolutely insane. Yeah, GX has a stupid story mode that literally makes no sense. And what makes it even worse is there's a hard and a harder mode, I think. <laughs> An even harder one. Yeah, there's a harder mode. And it's like, when that pops up, I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. I'm but yeah, I don't, I don't know what they were thinking, making that so freaking challenging. Like, it was it was absurdly challenging. I, I don't get it. I'll never understand that. I mean, FCR games have always been tough, but they've never been that hard. And beating that story mode was one of the highlights of my streaming <laughs> career. <laughs> nice. I don't think I, it's been a while since I've been that happy beating a game on stream, but it was intensely hard. Like I'm telling you, if you ever get a chance, because I think F Zero GX goes for cheap on GameCube, you can probably find it at a pretty good price. But play the story mode and you will you will probably freak out (laughs) i think it's harder to find a gamecube than that game probably probably oh god this is um sonic r isn't it oh god so Uh, i'm not gonna lie sonic r i actually enjoyed that game (laughs) i haven't played that that like a hot take right there sonic r yeah, Sonic R. You can get it on the, um, what is it, the Sonic Mega Collection Plus, I think, is what it's on. Or no, Sonic Gems. Oh, Sonic Racing. Sonic Gems, I think, is what it's on. Yeah, It's, it's like, in the compilation. It's Mario Kart-esque, right? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Wait, who's in the car here? I assume that's like... Hello, hello. Wiley? What up, hey, Mike? Man. Hey, what's up, Mike? Yo. What's up? Dude, this... Look at We're the... talking Sonic R now. Oh, right on. <laughs> That's one I haven't played. Mike has heard of Sonic the Hedgehog. That's as far as you can get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've played Sonic 1. And that's about it. <laughs> oh, man. So no you Sonic R on your DJ set list, Mike. Not at the moment, no. Sonic R is super obscure, though, so not many this, people have played it. sounds like it could be, it sounds like this could be like in Ridge Racer or like an initial D or something. Mm-hmm. It's, it's got a Euro beat to it. Yeah, this is like the epitome of 90s style music right here. But I think this was technically the first 3D Sonic game. Oh. Yeah, like Saturn full on 3D. Too, yeah. And I know they had another, um, what was it, Sonic, um, it was a collection. Sonic Jam also had like a 3D section for Sonic or whatever, but this was like the, the first full-on Sonic 3D game. Yeah, the, the camera angle reminds me of what the, the bonus levels from Sonic 2 and Sonic 3, but actually presenting the graphics in 3D and not, uh, 
Not sure what method they use for, for two and three. Two, I know they use some sort of like, <laughs> I guess you could call it like gift technology uh -huh. <laughs> where they just had a loop of that half pipe or whatever moving back and forth and they had like the turns and stuff. But it was pretty, it, I, it, I watched some making of video for the Sonic games and it's really interesting how they managed to pull off some of those effects. Yeah, I know it very much reminded me of the arcade game Stun Runner, which I appreciate it because that is a game that I think I want to go speed. In a game with like a uh, boost pad. Yeah. You know, I would have put Excite Bike on there, but they don't really have music. And yet, one of my favorite all-time remixes is from Excite Bike. Oh, is it from which which remix? Uh, Analog's remix. Let's see. Living in the city. <laughs> These songs, they they actually have uh, instrumental versions of them as well, but the 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 singing adds that charm, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, hell, Daytona, right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But wow. these are like full blown songs. Like, they have lyrics and everything. Like, these, this is like album quality. <laughs> she was trying to get a record deal. Uh, I think I'm wrong. I was, uh, I was thinking of Analog's um, Stunt Race FX remix, Thin Glow. Oh sure. God! Stunt Race FX. I remember that game. Hey, what's up, Meta Carnage? Was that was that the yeah, the, the 3D 3D Super Nintendo game, right? Stunt Racer uh, FX. Mm -hmm. 90, yeah, ninety four. Yep. And I know I, I never played either of them. That's why I'm getting the games confused. I go played Excite Bike versus Excite Bike in the uh, in the arcade a couple times, and that's it. You know, I was gonna ask that actually. Like, I don't know if like. Uh, Freeplay has had very many, like, actual racing game cabs. I assume it's, like, incredibly hard to maintain and just take up, like, a serious amount of space. Like, I know I've seen the Large Daytona stuff there. So... Um, but have there been any other ones? Okay, uh, racing I've games seen... I know of at Game... War oh, I'm sorry, at, uh, Freeplay. Uh, Daytona 1 and 2, which are both on the floor now. Uh, Initial D3, which is on the Denton floor. Uh, very, very right briefly, yeah. uh, what was it, initial D5? D5, something like that? There's one that was oh, really popular. one of the newer ones. Yes, there was the, yeah. and it had like a, a card issue that uh, yeah. made us take it off the floor almost instantaneously. The, they used the same uh, card encryption technology that they did for the Japanese gambling games, so it was impossible to crack, thus impossible to create huh. new cards. Thus, impossible to enjoy the way initial D should be enjoyed. So, mm. it got it got removed and sold without much fanfare, uh, even though it was incredibly popular. The weekend we accidentally had it out. Um, pole position was on the floor, and it even was the subject oh, of yeah, monthly. Yeah. Um, and that was right, Cruising USA World, uh, both of them. Um, I've seen Hydro Thunder at Richardson. Yes. Yes. And our crazy taxi. Rip. It took place of um, uh, uh, not Outrunner. Is it Outrunner? I'm thinking of Night Driver, uh, one of the original racing games. Um, oh, Outrun was... Two, I think is what it was. Sorry, yes, Outrun Two. Yeah, that was uh, that was Richard's favorite game. That's why they kept Outrun Two for as long as they did. It had. Oh hard drive issues like crazy and they fought through it and fought through it and fought through it because Richard liked it so much. Yeah, I love that Outrun 2 was great. Uh, Outrun 1 has also been on the floor. Um, so has... $200? Actually, I don't think Super Hang Run has. No way is this the arcade cab for 200 bucks. Oh, it might be. You might have no monitor or... <laughs> it might just yeah. be the cabinet. Right. Not in working order is, is definitely a note. Oh, and there it's you go. Huge too. So Yeah. It's a 
Yeah, yeah you might be getting yourself an albatross there. Yeah, if you want yourself a project, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, this two different car shaped backs. Oh, that's two. freaking awesome. I've Is never this seen a real that. Thing? I run two SP. Oh, all wow. different. That's that's kind of cool as hell, actually. That's the kind of stuff that you do see in Japan. Is like yeah, that's what I was about to say. This is all like Japanese stuff up right here. Yeah. Oh God! Speaking of fast cars, freaking Ridge Racer. Like good soundtrack Ridge for like a PS1 game, man. Man, and the thing is, they just kept getting better. Like, I had my first real experience with Ridge Racer playing um, Ridge Racers on PSP. I don't know if anyone's played that before, but yes. it is an incredibly fun game. Super fun. And did the it, soundtrack is just bonkers. They did a really good job of meshing the control scheme available with the PSP. Oh, they that really Ridge did. Game. Yeah, it, no, it, it felt so good. Yeah, it felt so good playing it because it was, you know, they put heavy emphasis on the drifting mechanic and it was so fun to play. I'm actually thinking about playing it on stream one day. I just feel like it can get kind of boring because it's very repetitive. I mean, you're literally just you're drifting and the way you drift in that game, it feels so almost magnetic. Right. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, cause you can drift the wrong direction. Exactly. Which yeah, it literally trip. just makes no sense. But yeah, once you start going really fast, it, it gets really fun, especially with the music blaring in the background. It's great. But, you were um, saying it might get boring, but like, you know what I've been seeing on the streams? Like, kind of popular-ish? Some other, some com something called Track Racer or something? Is, is like on sale on, on Steam recently. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just like track racing. It's just people trying to post up like, um, just the fastest time. Like huh. an online fastest time kind of deal. I, I forget what it's called exactly, but... You know what, there's this I've game I got recently. recently. Let me see. Maybe it's maybe I have it because there is this one game um, that kind of reminds me of like old school rad racer type games. Yeah, it's called Horizon Chase Turbo. Have you guys heard of that? I think uh, so. That might be it that I was thinking of. Yeah. Yeah, it's an indie title and it's actually quite good. It's it's hardcore retro too. Like it, it took me way back to like rad racer style racing racing games. Because, you know, you can't move in a circle or anything. It's literally just you're going straight and you either go left or right type stuff. Yeah. Rad Racer, also a great soundtrack, a.k.a. that one song. Just the one song. <laughs> I know I, The one song I like is that, um, I don't know what that... Did they have names for those songs? I don't even know if they had the names in the game. I think it's track game. A, track B. Yeah. I think there's literally two songs. Yeah. But they were both good. They were both really good. One was definitely more chill than the other, but I, I, I like the uh, not so chill version. Yeah, the chill one was good too, but the not so chill version was like when you were losing over and over again. It's like it's time to get serious here. <laughs> <laughs> no more messing around. Let's see. But um. But yeah, now I got to give that game a little more time. Uh, the Horizon Chase Turbo looks great. Mm. Oh wait, I think you know what game I think you're talking about, Ian. I think you're talking about Trackmania. That might be it. You might be talking about Trackmania because that's a game where um, the emphasis is yes. getting really fast times on uh, your track and stuff. Yeah, they just re-released it, and I think it's free to play. Because I have the old version uh, of Trackmania, but I don't have the new one they just released. Yeah, I, I saw a bunch of people just streaming this. I was like, why is this like up here? Like, I, I remember seeing it on Steam also, so I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I haven't tried that yet, but it looks fun. I've been playing it for a long... Like, I had that game a long, long time ago. I think I got it for free um, on Steam. Because that was back when like Steam was always giving you games that use the the um same engine as like half-life 2 and all that oh yeah you would yeah. just all of a sudden have these games that um yeah, were in your download mod, every mod that came out mm -hmm. they would just give them to you i'm like oh sweet thanks i'll check this out one day <laughs> <laughs> is that is that are I'm those still captain falcon right now 
Is what now? Are those still on the Steam queue? Uh, probably. <laughs> Buried down there somewhere. Yeah, I have way, like, I have a stupid amount of Steam games. I've been collecting them since 2003, like, 4. That's my collection, the digital, digital collection. I'm actually excited to see what this picture is going to look like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know exactly. I was going to say, Jeremy's calling uh, Falcon because he's a, uh, been a Falcon main since 64. Mm -hmm. Alright, Jeremy, I'll get... You know what? There are two Falcons in here. Because I know uh, Tiger Lily is wanting Mike to be one. Maybe we just make Mike this this one specifically. But <laughs> you got the group shot one, man. Meaning we pull out your... Um, only picture that we have of you in your work clothes. I think everyone remembers. There you go. Occupational um, shot again. Nice. Man, I'll, I'll just leave right that up there position. for. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no road I'll leave it up there so like the Twitch thumbnail like updates. <laughs> people, people in art just all of a sudden see just this. <laughs> Wonder what the hell is going on? What is happening? Is the, this is the Harry Hines picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I definitely clipped you and sent it to uh, all of our private chats declaring <laughs> might be the, uh, the king of Harry Hines. King of Harry Hines. The captain yeah. of Harry Hines. Didn't you clip that in my stream? Yes, yeah, I clipped it in your stream and started sharing it around. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much what happened. Self, hey, self proclaimed, or not self proclaimed, <laughs> the opposite of self proclaimed. Okay, anytime I can get people trolling Mike on other streams, then I'm, I'm in. <laughs> your job is done. Mm. Brian, uh, another Sonic song. Yup, yup. Good old, good old Sonic Mania. I got in. The, I'm not gonna lie. I got in the zone for a little while when I was helping with this playlist. I had a lot of music. I was just flying with it. <laughs> yeah. No, that's cool. You you went fast. You gotta gotta go. <laughs> I was adding songs fast. To, I took it literal. But yeah, no, Sonic Mania has an incredible soundtrack too. I need another excuse to play that game. <laughs> is there an anniversary coming up? Yeah, funny thing is, I actually, well, not for Sonic Mania, but for myself. Um, I just had my three. Well, I haven't celebrated it yet, but July 13th was the first day I streamed on Twitch. Oh, of 2017. Congrats. Yeah, so it's been three years of um, streaming on Twitch. Another 12 hour stream? Yeah. <laughs> I was afraid you were going to say that. Yeah, see, that's why I'm not doing it right now because I literally just did a 12 hour stream. Like, Dang. not even, I think it's been less than a month ago. So it's like, oh, I can't be doing back to back 12 hours. <laughs> I'm not built for that. I've, Meanwhile, like people, I've been seeing more and more people do 24 hour streams. I'm just like, God, how do you? That I don't understand. I just can't. Hour. I can't do it. I cannot do it. I would have to be on all the caffeine in the world and I would have to get like 24 hours of sleep prior to. <laughs> all right. Like, I don't, I, like I said, I've, I haven't even stayed up for 24 hours since I've been an adult. So I just don't, I don't think I could ever do it. I think I would crash, especially because I put a lot of energy into my streams. I, I would, I would literally just start dying toward the end. A 24 hour dance stream. Just all the thank yous coming in. Mm -hmm. God, I would follows just, and hosts. I would get so tired. I would just be like, thanks guys. I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> I Let's wouldn't even say the names again. anymore. Like, thanks, thanks, man. I appreciate. You just it. have it pre-recorded. <laughs> just, just, just play, have a play button it like a tape player. Mm-hmm. 
that would actually be pretty convenient. I would literally just have my alert say thank you for following. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is All such right, a good let's... track. God, F Zero. Yeah, so that... The original F Zero had such good music. Part are there any girls game. in this game? Um, yes, there are quite a few actually in F Zero GX. F Zero GX has an insane amount of characters. Um, the for, the one for Super Nintendo though, I don't think there were any. I think there may have been one female character, but maybe not. I'm not 100 percent sure actually. I don't know. We're, I'm not assuming this alien's gender, or if, uh, <laughs> alien has the gender. I know there was like a, there was a pink. Yeah, see, there's a pink um, ship right yeah, there. That was him. It was it was like one of the hardest ships to beat. Ah, you know what? I You're remember. right. Yeah, yeah, see, there were no female characters technically in um, the first one, but then the one on N64 and GX had a ton of characters, I believe. F Zero X and F Zero GX. Doesn't mean we can't add you in here, regularly If you wanted, if you want one of these characters. The hard part is trying to get it so it's not just Jeremy's mouth that's like being shown. <laughs> For an F Zero game, this this sounds so calm, and I think maybe it's just because it's on the SNES. The majority of the music is is quite calming, to be honest. There's a couple of songs that are a little more hardcore, mm -hmm. but yeah, they all sound kind of chill. For such a fast game like at the time i think this was the fastest racing game like out there period i, I do have to say it's it might sound more calm now just because we're not hearing like the engines the sound effects yeah, yeah. the engine's like going off how do i add a song to the youtube playlist okay so that link that we we have um And the theme is um, Gotta Go Fast songs. So songs you think of when you gotta go fast <laughs> in video yeah. games. See, that's why I like I like this theme because a lot of this music I listen to when I'm going running and stuff. Yeah. So it's like perfect, you know? Oh, hey, oh. look at that. Oh. oh. Rolling start. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, <laughs> I freaking love it. Amazing. Um, uh, now, so to add to the playlist, uh, go and click on that link, and it's going to show you the playlist itself. But I believe it's on the top right. It'll have like a continue or contribute or something. I forget exactly what it says, but up here on the top right, it'll it'll give you a uh, a button so that you can become a contributor or collaborator for this. And then what you do is just like you go ahead and pick a um let's see did i add i don't know if i added nigel oh, i did add nigel's but uh what you do is once you get to a a song or a video you want to add to the playlist go ahead and click save and then the uh vgm wednesday playlist for today should be up there and you just check mark it and then exit out and then you do that with uh, any other song or video. Ah, so you want to hear something okay. kind of funny? What's so up? there's actually a clip that I have um, on my Twitch channel of this song, and I was literally singing it, <laughs> like I was <laughs> I was lip syncing it. Because I, so I don't know. What you're saying is I, we should pause this and then pull up that <laughs> clip. I don't even know. I don't even know if I still have that clip, but it's a clip of the part where it goes, uh, and I'm just, I, I keep singing that part. I don't know if I have it. I'll see if I can find it. All right. Find me the link and then I'll, um, I'll, I'll throw it up on my end. Okay. Oh, I'll find sound it. what? Or, or maybe Chris will have to throw it up on his end to get the sound and everything going. What, which, what, what am I doing? I, I do a clip. Um, there's a clip of uh, uh, Amtrak singing this song. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, put the link in the in the Twitch chat, and I'll, I'll pull it up for us. 
Okay, cool. Let me see if I can find it. It might take a second because it's it's pretty old. You know what? So the rolling start part of this song reminds me of a Japanese gum commercial. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. I do not. There is a, there is a, I think it might be a Japanese candy, maybe. And like the series of commercials for for this candy are amazingly like I don't want to say complex. It's like a straight up like drama with like a twist. But um, wait, let me try, let me try again. Candy, I think the name of the commercial. Oh is wait, like I know long, what you're talking about. Man. I know what you're talking about. Long, oh. long man. Yeah, yeah. Long, long man. and it, it, the commercials were literally like an actual drama. Like every commercial yes. was adding more and more to the story. Dude, I watched that um, on stream live. We we just had one of those. It was like one of those just chatting streams. And we were just watching all these random YouTube videos, and somehow that came up, and I was like, "What in the world am I watching right now?" Oh, yeah, and I found it, the clip, by the way. Yeah, right. totally found it. <laughs> the fact that this has an article on Wikipedia about what it is this this is a great series of commercials. Yeah, that was amazing. And if I'm ever it was in amazing. Japan, I'm gonna buy some some of this. What are this candy is? Uh, just toss the clip in the stream chat, and I'll, I'll work from there. There we go. There you go. Nothing like embarrassing myself right on stream. <laughs> I do it all the time. No worries. No <laughs> so worries. do I. I don't know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't actually stream. Yeah, we're shameless. We're streamers. <laughs> Here, I, uh, we can... Oh, no, you, you can pause the fed button on your end. Yeah, right, I'll, I'll pause it. I'll it'll just uh, take a sec uh, to get the... Uh, I'm stealing some of your screen here. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, this totally Still is a song, way. actually. This That was the part. There we go. I'm going to have to hit the echo button so you guys won't be able to talk while it's playing, but you will be able to hear it. Where's Fred, folks? God, now I was playing Chex Quest. Good lord. What the hell was wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, it's off sync. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Chex quest. Oh god. Oh my god. I was getting into it. <laughs> was that a free game? Yeah, Chex Chex quest was free. There's like three of them and they're actually like really thing. good. Chex quest sneak king. I remember that was like a big thing that people were wanting to get the Burger King like free games oh, on god. Xbox. Not the Burger King free games. <laughs> there are a couple other ones. Uh... Hey. Whoa. Oh, whoa. What was that? Uh, feedback, I think. He may have had his phone on. Or... Was that Mike for a sec? Uh, no, no. That was, uh, I think Damien. that was Damien. Oh, okay. All right. Get Jeremy safely in place. Is it? Okay. Let road Sonic and also oh Sonic Racing. Yep, yep. I think I added this one. Like it sounds all like those um. Game. Funny thing is, all the Sonic Racing games were good, except for I mean Sonic R was. Sonic R was a special case. <laughs> it wasn't necessarily good, but it wasn't necessarily bad once you learned how to play. But all the other ones that came out, like the All-Stars Racing Series games, are actually really fun, and they're not like Mario Kart clones. They, they feel different enough to be able to play alongside them, you know? But they're always, like, super cheap on Steam. <clears throat> Announcing he's having a hard time adding it on the playlist. I wish I knew what that button said up here to add. I think it says continue. It, like it'll it say, continue. say continue. Yeah, freaking YouTube, not very good with the UI here. Yeah, no, um, it's pretty jank. Let's see, we've got. Yeah, we don't, I don't see you on here yet, collaborator. There's just nothing there. 
here. Allow new comp collaborators. Let me copy this. Make sure it's the. Do you have to like subscribe to the channel? No, you don't have to subscribe. To the um. Yeah, it. It's always weird because I forget what it says up here, but it's it's something on the top right. Continue collab. It's it's not very apparent, unfortunately. You might need to be logged into YouTube, I guess, but uh, now it's saying he is logged in. It's not working. Found it. What does it say, by the way? Can you screenshot that? Just so we can... Uh... I should, like, continue. <laughs> Why continue? Continue to what, man? To collaborate? <laughs> you already clicked. <laughs> no, it's okay. I... Come on, UI people, UX people. Yeah, it's pretty. Anyway. It's pretty awful. And it'll change <clears throat> within a week, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm actually That's pretty so frustrated because Google's always changing stuff. Every, like everything is everything that has a UI. Like they they're just tinkering with it all the time. And I understand that it has to, to change. I, I understand in in some ways, but like. I, I can't function with Facebook, you know, day to day. If I had, if you send me forward in time six months, I might not be able to work, work Facebook at all. <laughs> and that's yeah, we continually Speaking change stuff. Speaking of which, I remember seeing uh, Cloud posted a, a comic of like, Facebook, I, has this happened for anyone else? But the mobile app, there's like a part of it that's just been clipping on top of like actual post like this notification bar that's just like on top of i have to close my facebook just so i can like get rid of that i have no like idea like if you click click on your notifications on um on the the facebook mobile app like it'll there's like a part of it where it says notifications but it clips over your latest notifications so you can't really see it it might not and it might not be a an issue anymore they may have fixed it but Somebody, uh, or Cloud posted a funny comic strip to it. Oh, okay, so we got, um, let's see, Tiger Lily and Damien wanting to be, uh, the man with glasses. I, I will, let's see, first one of you to, to send me a picture on Discord gets it. <laughs> That's fair. <clears throat> or can somehow mash you into this tiny area of his face in the ship. <laughs> Maybe someone can be one of the buildings in the back on the right. <laughs> oh, could really be back there. <laughs> Keaton is the building right there. <laughs> Keaton Halls. Chris, Chris, that means you're you're gonna be the student on the back left, I guess. What, uh, what I don't even know who's there. who. I, 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 <laughs> well, have thank I not you for pulled not up the... making the guy with the Japanese battle flag. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Mostly because you guys have like the same um, same head tilt almost. I thought you were throwing um, throwing Jeremy there because his was. Identical head tilt. <laughs> Pretty close. The song sounds so friendly. Let's go, Sonic. Certainly, certainly remember it. Very much enjoyed Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast. Sonic Adventure was great. It just hasn't aged well, but it was great. Has it not aged well? Mm -mm. It's the cutscenes. <laughs> the cutscenes in Sonic Adventure and you can't skip are just them, is that right? I actually don't know if you can skip them or not. Yeah, I remember them I being think, very slow. Yeah, I think you can, but it's it was the lip syncing was so horribly bad, along with the voice acting. Mm -hmm. It was just it was atrocious. Now it's just charming, but uh, it's rough. I think that was but, the first time I. <clears throat> heard Robotnik referred to as Eggman. Yeah, I think that was the first time he was referred to as Eggman is in the adventure games. Well, I love this track. This is a good one. The casino casino stage from F-Zero. 
Ooh, got all drum and bass tonight. Yeah, this one is like a fast feeling song for this track. Man, I'm telling you, if you haven't played F Zero GX, you really gotta play it. If you like fast games like that, oh man, this is the <clears throat> the peak of them, I believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, I never really got into a lot of the those games just because they didn't have the system. Um, I guess a lot of that stuff is a little bit more available nowadays. Red Bull Hiccup. Wait, are you talking about these, um, <clears throat> excuse me, fast uh, game, moving games? Game Boy, oh no, Game Boy Advance games in general. Oh Port yeah. Portable games, yeah, yeah. Like I said, my first portable was like a, a 3DS. Right, right. Yeah, Advance is taken it way back. It's like the portable Super Nintendo. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. That's basically that zero what I'm that making was pretty good too. On a on John. Oh, Advance. Mm -hmm. There was um two of them actually. There was F Zero Maximum Velocity, and then F Zero GP Legends were the ones on um. Game Boy Advance. And the interesting thing about GP Legends is it actually had a real, I think it had a 3D modeled car, but the stage was still mode 7. Weird. Yeah. Huh. It looked pretty convincing too. Like, Game Boy Advance did that a lot. Like, even with Tony Hawk games, they would have a 3D model, but they would have like a 2D stage. I wonder if that just makes that easier, or...? Well, for F-Zero, that game has to run at 60 FPS, like... <laughs> you, you can't... You can't play that game at any other frame rate, because it's just so fast. So I guess that's what they... That's why they did it. They were like, hey, we can't make everything 3D on a Game Boy Advance, because it's not even designed to do 3D, you know? Gotcha. <laughs> now one likes my haircut. <laughs> I, I have had that haircut before. Same color and everything. Not, not, uh, I've had that color, but not the haircut with the color. But ah, uh, I've, I've experimented you know what, with the after hair seeing your years. old picture. I've seen seeing your old pictures. I bet you did have this haircut. <laughs> Very brief. It was way too much work making the swooshes happen up top. Whatever the bangs thing is. I think this is in again, actually. It's the e-boy haircut now. Yeah, it's too much work. Can't do it. For the, those of you youngins. Man, we were, we were talking about that on another friend stream, about how... So, he, he has a lot of, of viewers watching that are uh, somewhat, like, younger. Like, people didn't realize, like, he was actually that much older. And um, we were just talking about old... Old things that, like, I guess they wouldn't have had to struggle with or, like, no, you know, like, dial-up or like, computers having, like, one gig of, like, hard drive space, and we were all happy about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a game changer. One whole gig. First first what? hard drive was 20 meg. Yeah. Had 256, I think, for too. us. It slowly became just like an old man stream, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> yep, one gig was, one gig was a lot. I remember being blown away by having a um, 512 megabyte SD card. <laughs> I was just like, man, I can put like hundreds of songs on this. This is awesome. That's just so thought too with like you had on there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could put like one five gig thumb CDs. drive. One gig thumb drive was like seventy five dollars. I bought it like in college. Just like yes, I could put all my projects in here. And now I don't proof. think I could put one. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking crazy, man! Times have changed so much. I think they have terabyte SD cards now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I know. What the heck, man? Terabyte, when you say SD, like, like thumb drives that we were talking about, or are you talking about? No, the, the, the old school, like, SD cards, like the ones you put in cameras. Oh. 
that kind of stuff. Oh man, terabyte. Yeah, mm -hmm. they've gone up, and I think 470 million pictures. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what's crazy, I think it's the micro SDs that are terabyte now, Jeez. which is just like unbelievable. Like I remember getting a terabyte hard drive and just being like, I'm never gonna fill this up. <laughs> no, games are too big nowadays. Oh god, now they're huge. I mean, I bought like a um, 500 gig m2 drive recently and um i can only put like four or five games on there and it's full <laughs> yeah i i have a i guess it's a, i bought a terabyte sd card like a while back and it's already full i mean like some games are straight up like 90 gigs uh They're like insane. gta 5 was free I downloaded it and um, installed it. It's like, man, this thing is like 96 gigs. Yep. Games are too big now, man. Like, even that new Call of Duty is like 100 gigs. The, yeah, the, the online Warzone. game, Warzone, it's 100 gigs. I wonder how that works for anyone with, like, I don't know, a console. It's like two discs. How do you... They don't, they just don't anymore. anymore. Like, I feel like they give you the disc for collectors, but you literally have to download the game. <laughs> oh. God, it's getting to a point where you, you can't play games without internet now. Yeah. I never thought that was like a, a good idea. Yeah. I'm, I'm I mean, not, I like I'm the capabilities of, of things being online, but. Yeah, even Nintendo is doing that. Like, if their games don't fit on their little cartridges, then you have to download the rest. It started oh, to, man. um... Like, that, that, that keeps me from playing a lot of modern games. Um, just because if I go six months from playing a game... I want to... I always want to play games with people. You know, the show, talking to my friends. Everything is always about, like, doing something... It, doing something with a person is more fun. Uh, so anytime I play a game, it's usually going to be someone's over at my house or I'm over at their house. And if I haven't played an, uh, a modern game in six months, that means I got what 20 minutes worth of downloads. So we can't just think, yeah. hey, let's let's play that game. We can't just remember yeah. this, how nice this game was and go back and play it because you have a 20 minute download and we're on to the next thing by then. Yep, that is really annoying. I don't like that about new games. It's like. You download it. You 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 buy a new game. You get it, and you're like, I can't wait to play this tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's awful. And and like, is this? You know, you, if you if you're willing to wait, you can. But also, I'm busy. I'm actually not willing to wait. Like it like it it just it means I don't get to play the game. Right, and I think like if you really 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 want a game, you can pre like order it and pre download it or whatever. And for a single player experience, uh, I, I'm generally willing. Like uh, Cyberpunk 2077, right? I'm looking forward to that. God, that game's going to be uh, mammoth. That's gonna be, yeah. Right, so Probably I'm going to be like 200 gigs. I'm I would aware. not doubt it. And I'll, 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 I'll have it download however long it takes, and I'll give it a try when, it, when it's done. But like, for the multiplayer sake, for, for my racing games where I want to play in the couch co op, or couch competitive, like, no, no, I, I'm not gonna wait that long. It's okay, I guess we're doing Jackbox or this board game or something. You know what's funny? Like, that's one thing I really appreciate about Streets of Rage 4 is how quick it is. You just, you just open the game and you just go in there and play. Like, I've missed that so much. Like, just being able to jump in a game and play it without having to worry about all this loading and trying to figure stuff out you just jump in and play and when you're done you, you you're done <laughs> also having access to all of your character and not having to um unlock everything via gameplay you know well you know what's funny i actually kind of like that i like unlocking stuff i i i, I like it i like both because i like metroidvania games as well it's one of my favorite genres uh, but there is something to like not having to level up your character to level 70 to be a, to do a beat-em-up. Because, uh, you know, Streets of Rage 4 is perfect in that style of, like, 
you have your badass character, you have your fighting game character, and then you just go with right. it. Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, no, that that totally makes sense. Yeah, uh, compare that to say, if you wanted to start off at the, you want to play Castle Crashers and go straight to the hardest possible level. Well, you need to level up to max level <laughs> and, and <laughs> unlock it. And uh, meanwhile, Streets of Rage Four, you just if you're that crazy, then go for it. Right. Yeah, you just got to be good. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to be good, and no matter what, you got to be good. You gotta, mm -hmm. you have to actually level yourself up. Yep, you just gotta be good. I don't mind a level up. I, I don't like when, when you said unlocking. Like, I'm not a fan of unlocking, like a character like in in Street Fighter. You know what I mean? Um, Castle Crashers is, is uh, really what I'm what I'm referring to too, because you unlock your mm -hmm. special move set, so you don't even have combos until level three or four or whatever. Gotcha. I'm not. A, I'm a fan of like leveling up. If it's if it's fun to level up, you know what I mean. Like Diablo, is like a fun like level up. You do it fast, and you know, sure the beginning parts are annoying, but like the uh, showing progression and and showing, um, I don't know, like actually a level up in character. But I guess you know it, it is satisfying to see yourself level up as well too. I mean, I play role uh, role playing games, action RPGs, so I, I'm, yeah. I'm I'm happy with the mechanic, and I'm happy with that mechanic being tossed to other games. Very happy, really. But um, like you said, fighting games, racing games would be another one. Like I don't, I, I I'm playing it playing it in a more arcadey style. I always want to have the option for it. Uh, I remember Tekken, you would unlock all the uh, the boss characters. Oh yeah, yeah. And that makes uh, that actually makes Tekken Tag Tournament. Uh, whenever I play it on the PS2, uh, tough to play because there's no unlock code. Um, like that's cool, and it was cool to unlock stuff back in the day, and it added replay value to it. Uh, but it's artificially so. Like I, I just want to play the characters. So can I type in a code or something, and then let's yeah. move on. <laughs> See, I just I like I like the unlock feature because of the incentive. It's like, hey, if I keep playing this game, I'm gonna unlock something. So, but I was I was just raised with that. Like that's that made me want to keep playing it. If everything's already unlocked, then it's like, all right, well, I guess I just get to just play with people all the time. And see, I'm like the opposite, Chris. I actually don't like playing games with people all that much. I like single player experiences, and I'm one of those people that like to play fighting games about myself too so Whoa. like yeah i like to have to <laughs> unlock stuff well i'll play oh fighting goodness. games with people but i, I enjoy playing them alone too Oof, that's... like the story and stuff <laughs> I, 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 I i feel you on the story and presentation especially if it's good like uh like the the mortal kombat guys and other realm guys you know they mm -hmm. put a lot of effort into their, their <clears throat> story modes uh Playing, playing fighting game AI is such a beatdown. So bad. Like, Oh, yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> it's happened to me recently. It's just not worth it. It's a waste of your time. Like, like, yeah. like seeing the story and having it progress, yeah, I feel you. But, cool. Some yeah, no. Nah, playing against the AI can be an absolute just crap fest, especially if it's like an SNK fighting game. Or Capcom. That's one ST, at dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like, SNK was like notorious. I'll win a tournament in Super Turbo and then play a game against the computer and lose in the first stage. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it's awful, man. They have such cheap tactics. They have all that input reading nonsense. It's terrible. Uh, MK2 was the worst AI I'd ever seen. It would oh, yeah. read everything. Like if you've ever hit a down ice with Sub Zero on anybody ever, then you've accomplished something. Yeah. Yeah, it's absurd. I've I tried to beat Mortal Kombat 2 arcade on stream and couldn't. Right, it's just dumb. Because you you have to you have to resort to cheap tactics. Yep. And then same with SNK games. I was playing um, Garou Mark of the Wolves recently on stream, and I spent two hours fighting Grant. <laughs> we actually know the Evo champion of Garou Mark of the Wolves. Oh really? That's awesome. That's an amazing game. To hell with Rugal and King of Fighters 98. To hell with Rugal in every SNK fighting game. <laughs> Rugal's the worst. Oh, yeah, it's, 
This is KOF 98. I, I think I'm a 98 over a 2K fan. See, Damon, I knew you were cool. <laughs> Cannot stand it. Well, apparently 98 is one of the best. Yes. We discovered that early in our stay-at-home experience. Mm-hmm. Um, plan? Whenever we can do... So we thought about doing uh, Tuesday Night Fights after Super Turbo in person after reopening on KOF 98, but I know, uh, Ian, you're not coming out yet, so... Yeah. Without you, without, uh... Without the... Without, uh, Chris, without, um... Uh, the general... Like yeah, just, that, I would that love to like see the general out there, man. Yeah, so we're, we're going to hold off on that. Have I heard from Viago recently? Has I he been on, on, on stream? He hasn't been on stream. I could I could text him. Um, yeah. I know he's still stuck indoors, so. I'll, I'll message him tell yeah. him we're talking about him on stream. We haven't had the Jeopardies and stuff. Actually, hell, we should have them as a contestant for um, match game. He seemed to enjoy like when we were goofing off in Jackbox and stuff. That's true. Yeah, he played Jackbox a few times with us. Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to have you on here, um, but you are angled a little differently. See what this looks like just removed. God, hearing this song makes me want to play Sonic Advance again. <laughs> uh, it's another underrated series. I have more like make him the alien with that. Hold on, I, I can make something happen. Maybe he won't have like these ear pieces. Wait, Sonic Advance? Like Sonic on the Game Boy Advance? Yep. Sonic made his first official appearance on the Game Boy Advance um, for Nintendo. And then after that, it was Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube. Is this yeah, his, Sonic? That's his first <clears throat> appearance? Mm -hmm. On Nintendo? Yep, on wow. Nintendo. I remember literally saving up my pennies to buy it at Target. I was so excited because I was like, oh my god, I have portable Sonic and it's on its Nintendo system. Because that was right when um that's right when Sega started um became third party basically. But yeah, this was a decent game. It was a good it was a good trilogy in general. Oh, there's like three of them. I didn't realize there's three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sonic. I think I put music from all three on there. <clears throat> They're all decent. It's just the one thing with Game Boy Advance games, they always put that like chip tunish sounding instruments in there because they couldn't, you know, utilize the sound chip as well. So it always had like Game Boy Color, you know, sounding instruments or whatever. I don't know what you call them. Yeah. Like, Tunes, it, I guess. it always seemed um, softer sounding to me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Like it, was, like it was like SNES. The way that um, SNES sounds compared to Sega, I think that's what the advanced kind of stuff sounded like compared to hell Game Boy. Yeah, the advanced didn't have the best sound chip in the world. It, it really didn't. Mm. There were very few Everything games that utilized it well. <clears throat> very few games. But most of the time, they ended up sounding like that, like that whole chip tunish softing sound. Mm -hmm. Like it's it's really evident in um, the Super Mario Advance games. Yeah, because they're ports from the SNES games, which reminds me, I need to play another one of those. But um, but yeah, they sound really soft. <laughs> Not a lot of bass, lots of treble. Now, I think I asked this before, like, are you playing it via, like, an emulator? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're all being played yeah. via emulator. Trusty. 
trusty emulators. <clears throat> I want to just get a GameCube and try to find a Game Boy player. I think they're kind of expensive, though. I, I do all have... my stuff in the purge. I, I, I certainly had all that. Had a, had a breakup, lost all my all my collection like that. So oh. I certainly had a GameCube game Game Boy player, uh, a thirty something inch CRT HD TV. Oh. the best TV I ever had, and aged well. God, that takes me back, man. I actually had a um, brutal to move that thing. I had a freaking Insignia widescreen CRT TV and I love that thing. I think it went up to like 1080i resolution. I want to say it was about 27 inch or so, but that thing was so god awful heavy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't move it myself. It was just too big. Too heavy. I had a Samsung that was like um that was my first HD TV. It was like 720p. I remember I bought it with like a, a roommate of mine. But we could, it was so hard to listen to the, the apartment with us on the second floor. But it was flat screen, it was CRT, and it, it was 720. So I was like, oh, okay, this this looks really good. It was just a little small. It's like maybe 30 something inch. Um, but yeah, that thing just, I don't know, had the mass of like the sun. It's what it felt like. It was just <laughs> kind of, it, it was small looking right because it's a small looking box but just freaking i guess the amount of weight that was in there i don't know yeah all that glass uh, man <laughs> it has all that thick tubing glass in there those tvs were super heavy like a 30 inch crt was like upwards of 200 pounds uh, yeah. but it looks so good it looked fantastic i mean they're still technically better quality than a lot of the new stuff because of the refresh rate. It's like instant, instant response time. There's a um. Mhm. Mm yeah, this is the 64 version right here. I need to. I haven't played that one much. Apparently, it's super fast. <clears throat> super fast as well. 60 FPS. So how have you been, Game Tracks? Have you been uh, getting out much lately, or are you staying at home? Um, to be honest, I've been staying at home lately. Mm -hmm. um, with a lot of the COVID cases and stuff going up, I've just been staying home. <laughs> I understand. There's no, there's no point in really getting out much. Um, but other than that, pretty good. Um, I'm not going to be working after this week, <laughs> so that'll be interesting. Uh, for load or something like that? Mm, laid off. <laughs> yeah, I, we're all there, man. I mean, I've, yeah. been, I've been laid off during this crisis already, uh, rehired, and I work in an arcade. So if they shut us yep. down again, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's rough, man. Like, our company let go of, like, upwards of 700 people mm. last week. Yeah. <clears throat> so, unfortunately, I was one of them, but I knew it. I, I was already mentally prepared for it so and thankfully they're like taking care of us and stuff so you know i don't have to worry too much until like a couple of months pass but hopefully i can find something i actually applied for my first like gaming related job just now oh. um so we'll see how that goes because i mean heck twitch kind of counts as experience if you're applying for like a gaming job uh -huh. so I don't know. We'll see what happens. We certainly but, have enough uh, I mean, film out there. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. So, we'll see what happens. But thankfully, I'm just not in a situation where I have to rush or anything. But, you know, it is what it is. It's. I think that the statistic right now is like every one in three people in America right now are unemployed. Yeah. Which is just... Jeez. That's earth shattering, man. It is. It is. <laughs> society crushing yeah it's awful um <clears throat> i uh yeah no I, i'm 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 currently i'm employed currently uh we're hoping to save free play but you know i at any there, there's a sword of damocles hanging over us all um at, at the arcade and uh it's it's rough it's and i'm and i'm having to move like right now and so now i have 
Like if if I'm being silent, it's because uh, I'm actually actively like talking to my new roommate and talking to my landlord and trying to make plans for a completely uncertain future. Or if there, if I'm a gambling man, a future that I would bet is just awful. <laughs> yeah, see, that's that's the scary part. Like me and my best friend were kind of talking about it, where we were just like, man, it's kind of hard to plan for anything because the future just seems so, you know terrible <laughs> right yeah 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 name, name the thing that's going to be stable in six months <laughs> like uh covid yeah there you go there you go <laughs> bet on COVID. yeah or being like, a being a doctor maybe or like a nurse grocery store stuff grocery store yeah it's the, the essential mm -hmm, essential stuff yeah it's that pretty much like Shitty video game industry em employed are are the ones who also don't get paid enough to do their essential job you know what i mean right yeah see that's yeah. what sucks about that is they don't you can't i'm not gonna get a job doing that i can't afford you know right yeah no to totally <laughs> I might yeah, as well just terrible. go full time on twitch it's essential <laughs> in, in quotation would you have like a two dollar i've always wanted like um restaurants and stuff to be more like uh like a, in japan where people get paid like actual you know wages and stuff and not have to rely on like tips mostly so i don't have to tip but you know <laughs> these people are getting paid <coughs> yeah not here though not so much i wonder if they're gonna like up the wage on that since it's gonna become more important yeah. Yeah. Good luck, Damien, out there speaking about job stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Going on good a job luck. interview, man. Good luck. Good luck to Game Track. Oh, good, good luck, luck man. Good luck. Good luck to all of us. But yeah, funny thing is, I've, I've been wanting to kind of go to free play recently. I mean, you're helping us out in our time of need for sure. Oh, definitely, man. Whenever I get a chance to go to free play, I'd definitely go. I love it. Like, I was excited when they opened back up. I was just like, yes, my place is back. It's funny because one of my friends just um, posted a picture because he has a local arcade where he lives, mm -hmm. like in a different state, mm -hmm. but they're closed right now. And he's just like, man, this is one of the main places I miss the most. And I'm like, man, I feel that. That's how I felt when free play was closed. Mm -hmm. I was just like, ah, this I... is like the worst. <laughs> yeah. It, it is. I've, I've taken to, like, I was never taking it for granted. That's why I was always working so much. But I, I, I started a new project. I got a book, a journal, and I've been getting an autograph from everybody who beats me at every arcade game every day. <laughs> nice. Just, just kinda, Your hit list? No, no, no. I mean, it's just collecting, <laughs> like, sort of. Because if, if I play 40 games and, and they win one out of 40, that still counts. And I get their, their autograph. Like, I... I, I it means something for me to play these games and to, to have these experiences. So just try not to take it for granted. And, and, I, and I have a little log of, you know, of, you know, been playing this game and doing this and that. And it, it just, I don't know. It's, it's helping me a little. Uh, I had a lot of fun at Free Play Fort Worth the other day. Um, Saturday, we went out there. Um, got some Killer Queen. I had a, like a hybrid experience because I know Game Trucks, you were out there during a to go period. Mm -hmm. um, we're actually. We played arcade games. We played uh, Killer Queen and Super Turbo, and then we also transitioned to the roof after sundown, and we were playing, you know, games like Heads Up and stuff. We didn't have Jackbox on stream. Oh, but, Heads Up. Yeah. So we actually got got lost in that. And was we're, we're just playing party games on the roof of where we play, where we play Fort Worth for I don't know a couple hours. Nice. Mm -hmm. Heads Up is fun too. It really is. I remember playing that. Um, we played that at work once during a meeting, <laughs> and it was a blast. I actually have the physical version of that game, which is kind of useless now because the physical phone version, version is better. of Heads Up. There's a physical version of Heads Up. Yeah. Isn't it? Wait a it's second. It's like cards. <laughs> what? Why? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's funny. Me and my ex bought it. Um, when we didn't know there was a mobile version. 
We're talking about the same game here, right? Heads up, seven up. Oh no! Wait, no. I'm talking about um, heads up is a game where you have to guess. Um, how does it go? So, so this, this is how it works. You pick a category, something like um, movie stars, right? And uh, your the the app will put oh, a movie, movie okay. star on, like just the name on, and then you put it on your forehead, yeah. and everybody else gives you clues yep. to try and match it. There you go. That's it's the, that's it's the Ellen game. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Ellen game. Seven it's up was in my head. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we play that a bunch. Yeah, my, my first thought was like, heads up, seven up has a physical game version. What? <laughs> what more do you need besides a table? I guess. Oh, right, God, Mike this... is the alien. Everybody. Honestly, like this it. is a game I would want to play. In a free play, San, San Francisco, Francisco Rush. Rush. We had it, so we had uh, Rush the Rock on the floor. I don't know if it's still on the floor anywhere. Um, the force feedback is so dramatic in that game that I think it, oh, it's it, hardcore. It, it struggles, like they struggled to keep it, uh, keep it on the floor. But uh, I actually, it was one of my favorite games, and they bought it at auction just because I mentioned that I liked the game. Oh, that's awesome! And nice. we had San Francisco Rush the. Uh, Alca uh, San Francisco Rush to the Rock Alcatraz edition on the floor for some time. Yeah, see, my first experience with, with Rush was um, at a CC's Pizza. <laughs> uh, of course. <laughs> yeah, and I I used to play that game so much. I used to think it was so cool looking because you could like do the whole like jumping, jumping on hills and getting all that air time and stuff. And then it had like the reflections of the cloud on your car. I just I love that look. Such a fun game. Midway just used to pump out the hits back then. Uh, and then I remember playing this on PlayStation and being super disappointed. <laughs> yeah, the N sixty four version was was the better version. Yeah, the PlayStation version was garbage. Although this theme is only in the PlayStation version. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, no, nah, I, I used to hate that, like hoping to get the home experience <laughs> and being sorely disappointed. That's kind of how it was with some of the fighting games, like the Versus series on PlayStation was not the arcade version because <laughs> you couldn't even tag. Like that's the whole point of the game is being able to, you know, tag your characters, but you couldn't do that because, you know, PlayStation was underpowered and couldn't do it. Yeah, I didn't get that gameplay feeling from from Rush again until um, GTA, the GTA 3. Sort of huh. driving cars off buildings and... Mm -hmm. you know, Just going nuts. Yeah, yeah, going nuts. Yeah, see, they don't, I, I like those types of games. I wish they would do more. Like, there's some other good um, over-the-top racing games like that. Burnout. That came out. Oh, Burnout, yeah, Burnout. Yeah. Oh, burnout is man. I would kill for a freaking burnout like compilation or something. Like a new Burnout Paradise would be awesome. See, I didn't really like Burnout Paradise. I hate to say it, but uh. Burnout Paradise is when it kind of started going downhill for me. I enjoyed the crap out of uh, Burnout Three uh, and same. Burnout uh, Revenge. I played those religiously. Ooh, at Midnight I guess Club. I remember the was it. That was the one with the city, right? Are you talking about the burnout games? Yeah. Maybe I it think so. There was one that, that had a city that I thought was like really awesome. See, Paradise Hill was an open world game. Yeah. But um, the other ones were all linear. They were just, you know, you had these different modes you could play. Like crash mode or, you know, uh, traffic mode or just standard arcade racing mode. I... I like the linearity of those games the paradise is when they introduced the whole open world aspect of it which was neat but i don't know it just it lost that charm of, of three and revenge but the difference between like two and three was insanely dramatic because like that was back when ea was actually you know really really good and ea ended up buying the rights to burnout and they just turned it into gold How would an alien like this wear a hat? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be interesting. I'm gonna... 
gonna go, I'm gonna go with this. I'll make it very tiny. <laughs> oh, gotta go fast. Yeah, no, I was gonna say this literally just struck some anxiety. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no matter what Gal tries, Mike. Sam's gonna chop him down. <laughs> Guile wins. <laughs> Heard that one a lot. <laughs> Oh, how am I, how am I gonna put um, heat on in here? Yeah, if you want to beat Guile, I'll just pick some. It is a terrible match. I always feel bad oh, when uh, I have a, uh, a a new player, a moderate player, pick Guile against my Sam, and I'm just like, oh no. You pick this character, so you just don't know. <laughs> it's funny because like this is the first time i've heard this version of the song this long right <laughs> yeah right? you usually don't usually ever hear i'm dead long. already yeah <laughs> you're way dead like a good 10 seconds into this song and the thing is they're they're not short like some of these, I guess you can call them like pinch modes. Whenever you're getting yeah. ready to, you know, die or whatever, they um, they're pretty long. Like they're they're about a good ten seconds of of continuous different music, not just a loop. Kind of like uh, Killer Instinct had a pinch mode, but those were just hard loops. <laughs> yeah, missed opportunity for me. I, I didn't think about it. Like um. Those kind of modes, like the power up, like a star. If you got a star from Mario Brothers, oh yeah, put that in there. Um, do, 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 Super candy from like Kirby, I think. Boy, Kirby had a racing game. I, uh, Air, Air Ride. Yeah, yeah, Air Ride. That was on GameCube, right? I believe so. It may have been on N64, actually, the first one. Yeah. Um, let's see. Oh, Metroid Escape. Oh, NES version, not the, the SNES Escape. Interesting. Uh, I think I've eaten in the cockpit. It sounds so calm for an escape, though. Oh, in Metroid? It sounds kind of yeah. heroic. Yeah. Wasn't this the theme that played um at the end of Super Metroid 2? It may be in the beginning. No? Or maybe in the beginning. I can't remember. I it's funny because like I, I now have um the ability to play Super Metroid. Um I guess just not on me uh because I have it on the the Switch. Mm -hmm. Like oh you know what I can finally sit down and play this game, but it's I, so I good. Added, during the pandemic, I've, I've lent the switch to my sister because they don't have any kind of like gaming console over there at their their place. So yeah, no, Super Metroid is a treat, game. man. So much fun. I really hope they start putting Game Boy Advance games on the Switch because Zero Metroid Zero Mission, yeah, Zero Mission is really really good. It's a remake of um this one the nintendo version it's super duper good hmm. yeah maybe that'll be the next thing because I, I was surprised that they went over to um snes actually no not that surprised i was happy when they went snes um and i'm glad they're adding more and more games i mean i would totally keep a subscription just to keep playing a bunch oh, of that's, old, you know NES that's why SNES i have games. it yeah that's literally yeah. why i have it because of the classic game. Matter of fact, Donkey Kong Country came out today. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, I'm actually... I just picked up my Switch just now. Because <laughs> 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 I forgot about that. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country came out today. And I think another and game, too. Some kind of wrestling game. On SNES? Yeah. 
Saturday Night Slam Masters? Oh no, I wish. I wish. Donkey Kong Country and Natsum Natsume Champion Wrestling. Oh, you know what? I think I had this game. You know what? I totally had this game as a kid. Oh my god, this was one of those oddball games that I think I borrowed from a friend. But it's called NCW Natsum Championship Wrestling. Wow, I'm gonna try this out real quick because. <laughs> I'm gonna go I, mute I for like just a they... second. Oh no, that's all right. I was saying but, I like ahead, they, when they do add the random stuff like that. Um, well, there's some random NES games that they added um, in the, the Switch when they had the, uh, the NES games. I forget what it was called, but I, but I appreciate that they do add like you know some Famicom stuff in there, Super Famicom stuff. The choices are always kind of weird though. Like, I didn't know Mighty Bomb Jack was a that much of a classic to warrant being its own thing. Zelda, yes. Mario, yes. Mighty Bomb Jack? I vaguely remember that game. And this is such a jazzy... Oh, Mario Kart version of Mute City. That's kind of awesome. Such a jazzy version of this song. Man, the Mario Kart soundtrack is a masterpiece for uh, the, the uh, Nintendo Switch. Yeah. It's really, really good. Like, every song just... It just sounds like they put maximum effort into it. Even maximum. the intro theme. Yeah, this, this sounds like a really just awesome cover, to be honest. Yeah, it's incredible. Let's see if I can just add a different back. God, this game is just as terrible as I remember it being. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Wrestling games back then were always like a, a like a smash fest. Like it's just whoever can like mash out buttons the fastest. I'm back, guys. Oh, Welcome yeah, back. Good. Thank, thank you. Let's see. I think we might be done with this F Zero. Still move on to doing some bonus tracks. Since we're done a little early, but or earlier than normal. Mm. But I'm okay fun. with earlier than normal also. Okay, uh, it's 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 up to you ultimately. Oh. I um sorry, I've been distracted this week. All the moving. Oh uh, no, um, dude, that's fine. Moving is freaking a pain in the ass. Yes. Yeah, moving is the absolute worst. Yes, yes. Well, well, I didn't have I would to have do said that. that before this year. <laughs> now we've we've managed to up the ante to everything. Can't imagine. Uh, so, are you still in the same area? Closer, yes. further uh, away from free play? Uh, further away from free play, but not by much. I'm actually right behind Alamo Draft House Richardson. Oh, nice. Uh, That's how I guy. exit, just so I avoid info. stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, Chris, yeah, but it's... that means you'll never be near a free play. You move to where Jeremy lives. Yeah, but. Jeremy's right there. Yeah. He lives in a castle. Yeah, Great. Jeremy, congrats on the house, by the way. Was it? Yeah. Just, well, yesterday? I'm surprised that that hasn't popped up at all yeah, recently. I'll, 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 everybody. I'll have to <laughs> post congratulations on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if uh, Game Tracks has, has sent congratulations. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure he can as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't want to <laughs> leave you out. It's, Oh well, yeah. Who, who am I congratulating? Sorry. Boat guy. When did this? Oh, boat guy. Okay, you said Jeremy, and I didn't know his name was oh, sorry. Uh, boat guy. So congratulations, man. That's that's amazing. <laughs> you dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so the joke is, um, how long ago did he have this picture? I, there he you had go. this picture. Of, uh, okay. 
How long ago was this? 2016. But for some reason, people keep posting back up. I was like, oh, congratulations, man. I don't think that link popped up for me. Carlos bumped it, and now it's become a thing. Yeah. I always, those are always weird when somebody comments on something like that old, and it's like, my dude, you have to go so far back in the history of like of my photos. What is happening here? Yeah, that totally didn't pop up for me. Uh, he's on, he's on private. Ah. <laughs> uh. Like it should be. <laughs> yeah, it's been an entire 13 weeks since we've uh, we've congrat Far congratulated him for his 2016 house purchase. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of popping my head right now and didn't realize this is another... Is this Sonic? <clears throat> what they saw? The song that's playing now? I barely it doesn't sound like Advanced a Genesis too. game, though. No, it's Sonic Advance 2. Wait, oh, no, you're right. Oh, not... Advance again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Sonic, yeah, Sonic Advance 2 was the hardest one. Jesus. Ooh, this is a good song. You know, death, it, it is very weird to hear any kind of Sonic game and not be on some kind of like Genesis type of hardware. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Um, yep. Just because no, it just, it didn't sound the same. Like, I didn't think it was a Sonic game. And I, I, that's partially due to the song or the sound of a it's the quieter sounds, more rounded. Yeah, Genesis had a certain sound to it actually and the thing is when they did the um sonic advance series it wasn't made by the people that did all the sonics on genesis mm -hmm. it was done by a different team it was a comp i think it's a company called dimps or something like that that did the sonic advance games uh, maybe knows about dimps mm -hmm. they used to be okay now they're not <laughs> This is probably one of my favorite themes in F Zero. I just like how intense it sounds. Oh, the name is called Death Wind. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the name of the track, yeah. It's pretty intense. There's definitely right. death involved if you're not good enough. <laughs> so, you guys have played the original F Zero, right? On SNES? Yes. So, I have a. One thing about that game that always scared me is when you blow up because you blow up and it's absurdly loud compared to the rest of the game it was loud you just it goes like Pew! you're just dead and i'm just like oh my god why was that so loud <laughs> it's like your heart jumps right out of your chest whenever you explode oh, and i even think the, the screen uh, like flickers too yeah i think it did yeah, they made it super dramatic. I mean, when you think about it, those machines are like super huge. So of course, it's supposed to be a it's supposed to be a big um, explosion. I was, funny, I was just watching a documentary that's speaking about like loud noises in games. Like I was brought up that um, for some reason Killer Instinct was like the loudest machine I, I ever heard like in any arcade game. Mm -hmm. Like it would always just be louder than everything else. I thought people just like turned it up really loud or something. Um, but it turns out, um, watching this interview, they um they they did that on purpose where mm -hmm. so so whatever setting the, the arcade owner would put it at, if you like let's say did the volume main volume at fifty percent, certain parts of that game would be like seventy percent or sixty percent, like ten percent. Um that was the fight on documentary. Yeah. Yeah, I'll watch um, that too. Hold back, 
hold hold down back or something? Yeah. I, I subscribed to the, the channel because I watched the um, the documentary about um, them's fighting herds because I've been playing that <laughs> recently with some friends. Yeah, and, I um, need to watch more of their game. content. Yeah. Yeah, they did a really good job. I, was, I like any like anybody who makes like a good entertaining documentary. Yeah, um, I'm such a nerd for that stuff. I watch that kind of stuff like at least once a week. I'll just yeah. have it running in the background, you know? Um, Corey Gaming does an amazing job of kind of making that kind of like in info infotainment kind of somewhat documentary style uh, video. And he's, um, I think he's a friend of Freeplay too, Gerald from Corey yes. Gaming. Yeah. Yeah. He had a, a recent one actually. Yeah. I, I think they're doing a Patreon now for their because uh, because he started a gaming cafe right. Korea? Oh, that's or they awesome. have like a facility. Yeah. They have a facility there, but with what's happening, um, they've gone to Patreon as well, I think. So, but yeah, his videos are all amazing. They all, they're all done really well. I, I use those to introduce uh, people into getting into like fighting games, kind of. Really nice. Yeah, I met him in uh, Arlington. I even mentioned, like, oh, wait a second, you're the guy from 4A Gaming. I, I am subscribed. <laughs> yeah, usually he comes out to free play once a year, although it's around Evo, so it won't be this year. Yeah. So uh, this track is, of course, Ridge Racer. <laughs> <laughs> you can just, it has that signature Ridge Racer ish sound. The Euro Beats. Mm -hmm. I really do wish they would make another Ridge Racer game. Those games were so much fun. It, am I am I crazy, or is the Ridge Racer track the same track that's in Pole Position Arcade? I have no idea, actually. They're both Namco, right? Yeah, yes. so I mean, it, it probably is. I would not doubt it. Like, I feel like the flag girl at the end of Pole Position and the woman who who's in the I don't know she's she's frequently featured on uh, the cover of Ridge Racer titles. I feel like that's mm -hmm. the same person. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like the track, huh. the classic pole position track, is the same layout as the the stage one of every Ridge Racer game ever, where you have the the tunnel and I mean it looks way different because there's like nothing to the pole position track, but like the the outside graphics that would be an, i mean that's a cool little secret kind of let me, let me look there's a um there in ridge racer 6 there's a really good um remix of a of a galaga song that i added to the list hopefully it plays but it's really good it's a really good galaga remix they like to do that well they'll well they'll do throwbacks with their game so i wouldn't doubt that that's a track from pole position Let's see, Ridge Racer. that's captain falcon see out of this mess <laughs> you know what's funny his eyes actually like move and stuff with those glasses when he's um, being animated, because in F Zero GX they have full blown CG cutscenes. Yeah, exactly, Boatman. Exactly like that. Mm -hmm. How his eyes move and stuff. Same, same concept. Spider Don't they do that with the new Spider Man? Yeah, there you go. They do it with Spider Man too. I know what it is, but like. A Eurobeat uh, that signifies racing. They just have that high energy, you know. Gets you, gets you pumped. I raced. This Mike's nose. Yep, my bad. I don't know why I raced Mike's nose. <laughs> So what is your favorite racing game? Anyone, anyone can answer this. Favorite racing game. 
it, it's difficult because like are you are we thinking like arcade racer or are we thinking more if you had to play one life? racing game for the rest of your life <laughs> Dang. i mean i so. need I, as far as like experience and everything that i would like to to relive and could continue to relive for forever um it was the eight player indy 500 with jason bunch commentating live like he was a live commentator that was his job um reaction cameras uh, full indie car, like eight-player indie car experience, hydraulics, everything. I've never seen anything quite like it. No oh, man, yeah, I haven't heard of that. It was before uh, Daytona, and the it was it the the amount of pomp and circumstance involved in that that series of cabinets linked together and the presentation was uh, off the charts. Like it was it was better than eight-player Daytona. Oh wow! Because a player Daytona did not have a live announcer. Um, it didn't no, have yeah. reaction cameras on every one of the uh, the racers and like monitors for the audience, which there was because people were in line for the game to watch. It was incredible. That does sound pretty dope. Yeah, I've never heard that before. God, I didn't even think of that. Like experience wise, yeah. I, w I don't know. Like the y'all are gonna hate me, but like the. The one racing game I think I could play for the rest of my life is Forza Horizon 4. I know that's like super new and everything, but man, Forza I can always. Yeah, the Forza Horizon 4 game is just packed with stuff to do. Like it's it's so much fun, and you can just you you can play it for a couple of races and put it right back down, you know. And it's beautiful. Like it's just it's it's my I think it's my favorite racing game of all time. Like I love it. It's a perfect balance of like simulation and arcade racing yeah if you if you have a really good steering wheel too like it's it's such a such a nice experience see that almost makes me want to invest in one to get it like yeah if you get if you end up getting one of those high-end ones now that being said it's 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 a monotasking control device for sure like you're only going to be playing racing games and forza is going to be like the main one because an arcade racer is more built towards like a different type of control scheme. Mm -hmm. So it's never going to work like you want it to for Rush the Rock or whatever. <laughs> right. I, I believe exactly. you can also play Guilty Gear with it and win, um, you know, maybe not EVO <laughs> championships, but win against top uh, Japanese Guilty Gear players. That's until, until someone comes up against you with their Guitar Hero controller. Which and I Nigel, are you see. talking about um? Are you talking about Forza Horizon, Nigel, with the open checkpoint races? Because yeah, it has like big giant open checkpoint races and stuff. Yeah, that that game is it's it's just great. And I had three, and then four is just even better. Like I'm I'm really curious what five is going to be like when they come out with it. Because you know what's happening. Even overtaken. Um, uh... Gran Turismo? Gran Turismo? Oh yeah, it's yeah, killed but... Gran Turismo. Yeah, Forza's killed Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo just can't, like, <laughs> they can't compete right now. Like, I think Gran Turismo stopped being great at Gran Turismo 4. Oh. And 6 was apparently yes. really good, but it came out at the very end of the PlayStation 3 life cycle. The sheer yeah. amount of cars you get with Forza. It's and, insane, and, and, the, and the level of detail they put into each and every car is is bonkers. Yeah, you can tell because like, like the, that was a like Gran Turismo product for the longest time. Because like GT Gran Turismo Two, I think was like the, one of the first times you saw like a bunch of different car companies. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And then it was two discs. Gran Turismo Two yeah. had two discs. It had a simulation disc and an arcade disc. Because they had so many cars. I think those between the two discs, they had like almost 700 cars. Original manufacturers and stuff, too. Mm hmm. Yeah, man. Gran Turismo was amazing back then, but I really think that what happened, because what I, the story behind Forza is so they used to come out with a lot of um, racing games on the original Xbox. They had like Project Gotham Racing, they had yeah. Forza. Um, what other racing game was there? There was another one. I can't Black remember Hawk? it. 
No, not Midnight Club. These were all like Microsoft um, properties. But yeah, Project Gotham Racing, Forza, and then ah, oh, I think there was one more. But what happened is they joined forces, and um, they created. They just decided to focus solely on Forza, and both games were really good. Like Project Gotham was a ton of fun. Project Gotham was like the arcade-ish racing game style, and then mm -hmm. Forza was like the simulation stuff. And I think what ended up happening is Horizon became more of the Project Gotham end, and then Standard Forza was more of the Forza end. But those dudes know how to make racing games. Playground games, they, they know how to make racing games. And, and Gran Turismo, I think their team is a lot smaller. <laughs> Um, I was thinking about it while, we, while you guys were talking about it. I, I think mine would... I was going to say Gran Turismo, because I remember picking up that game and playing the crap out of that game. But I think it might actually have to go to like Crash Team Racing. I bought it twice. And I think mostly because it's like a, a thing that I end up um, racing and like playing against with uh, my sisters and stuff. It's a fun game. I'm disappointed it didn't come out for PC, though. <laughs> The remastered yeah. one. I thought it was going to come out on PC like they did with the Insane Trilogy, but they totally didn't do it. I was sad. <laughs> I'm uh... surprised that it came out on the Switch. Uh, me too. Yeah. But yeah, if, if not oh. Indy 500 with the, the massive setup that I had, then I'm actually I'm actually with Game Tracks. Uh, Forza 2 was the one that I played a ton, but you give me a, a high-quality Forza game, with a high quality steering wheel. That's 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 a lifetime's worth of mastering tracks and cars and tuning up stuff and it, there's just so much to those games. See and I think that's what makes Horizon so good is because it's an open world racing game mm -hmm. and it has three different seasons. Um oh no actually four. It has spring, summer, fall and winter. So you literally have this giant open world in four different seasons. So it adds, and when you play on these these new, like when you play during the winter, the control is different. You know, same with spring, it's raining most of the time. So yeah, That's no, awesome. they really just, I'm telling you, if you do not have Forza Horizon 4 and you even remotely like racing games, you won't be able to put this one down. And I think it's on like Game Pass and all that stuff, but it's incredible. It's a work of art. And even the music's good. The music's great. The presentation is good. It's it's just it's they really hit the nail on the head with it. Talking about it makes me want to play it right now because <laughs> it's so fun. I mean, you can literally play it for like fifteen minutes and and feel like you got a lot done. You know, <clears throat> since since we're talking about like it, it's it's all about games that, that have a feeling of speed and, and gotta go fast. Um, the um, there's a sequence in the original Star Fox. There's a whole level that's basically like the Star Wars level. You're blowing up kind of intermediate sized ships where you're going inside them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Oh yeah, I know that part. I know what you're talking about. You end up at some point like pivoting your 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 ship to the side um, to fit through a, a canal, and like that whole level and style of level um, really gave me a sense of speed that that like. It's really like, it's unique in my mind. Like I want to rush through that level. I, I feel the sense of speed. I want I want to relive like what I felt when I saw um, the Millennium Falcon escape the exploding second Death Star when the fire comes around it and it shoots out. You know what I'm talking about? Yep, that's pretty much what it was in Star Fox. Cause like you had to hurry up and get through those corridors before the doors shut or something like that. So yeah, you did have that sense of speed. Man, Star Fox did amazing things, all things considering. Like, you know, even though the game ran at like 15 frames a second, <laughs> uh -huh. it was still really incredible with what they were able to pull off. Like to do that whole Star Fox or do the Star Wars kind of sequence, because that's definitely what it was a uh, what it was inspired by. You could definitely tell. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you're right. And that's you, the you first totally time I can remember like the speed. gameplay mashing with that. That, that feeling that I had watching Return of the Jedi the first time. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen it done in video games before in cutscenes a lot. 
but that's just like like the ending of descent um anytime you beat a level the 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 mine shaft is blowing up around you and the the flames surround you and then the descent shoot ship shoots out safe and sound but i didn't actually like go through that those mechanics like i did in Star Fox, and that's the only one i can think of that, that really does it and it makes me feel an incredible sense of speed mm -hmm. or a yeah, need no, you for speed rush. That, if, if, if it's not that god i can't believe we haven't talked about need for speed now that i think about it <laughs> they're all licensed songs though mm -hmm. yeah that's why I, I was gonna put up stuff from um need for speed underground but i mean it's all licensed yeah, licensed song yeah God, Need for Speed Underground was so much fun. That that's another game that I recently played on stream. And um That was a fun one. Man, I had a blast with that game. It's hard though. God, it was so much hard. Because they have that weak rubber banding AI. Ugh. Yes. It's you, the you worst. Had to destroy them. It was the worst in the the drag racing mode. Yep. Not even just like the race. There's like a drag racing uh well not drag racing. What's it? We're basically at the shift, like Yeah, that's the drag racing mode. Yeah. You have to shift on time. I, I think I beat it, I don't know about 100%, but I remember beating the game completely, and I did it all with the, the Mazda Miata or something. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I played the crap out of that game. That game was fun, man. I beat it with the Nissan Skyline. Nice. But, um, man, it was hard, though, toward the end. Like, some of those races got to a point where they felt impossible, because, like, no matter how far you get ahead... If you crash, it's over. <laughs> like yeah. you're not catching back up. If you crash, because you know it had those crashes where it would show you crashing, all in slow motion and stuff. Thankfully, you could turn that off. But oh, that used to be so heartbreaking when you'd be like right at the finish line and then you barely tap like a curb, and you know it had that horrible collision to detection. So yeah. if you freaking hit like barely a piece of the curb. <laughs> Then you're going to just flat right into it. You're gonna, it's gonna bring you to a screeching stop because there weren't like physics to make you flip and stuff like that. It was just you hit the wall and now you're done. <laughs> Even worse than the, the other mode I was talking about, the drag racing mode. Mm hmm. Yeah, the drag racing, racing mode was pretty intense too because the way I used to cheese that, like what I would do is I would just make sure that I would be right in front of a car yes. <laughs> and they would the be pushing me. Yeah, they would end up pushing you to the finish line as long as you could pay attention to where they were behind you. Um, I do remember the drifting, like just like the drifting competition mode there's one where you just like drifted the entire time mm -hmm. that one that one was a fun one yeah i actually did not like that one <laughs> really i wasn't very good at it because i was so used to like ridge racer drifting oh and yeah that, yeah it's, it's not it's different <laughs> god speaking of drifting good old good outrun old outrun best song mm -hmm. yeah this is the song right here the um the remix version that they put in Outrun 2 was actually really good too. It's very faithful. Yeah, it was just like an updated um version pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same same like sound and everything. It just sounded better, you know. Same tempo, that's what I was trying to look for the word. Although this doesn't make me go fast necessarily. This is just that, like, this is that cruising top down, hair breezing in yes. the wind type of song. Like, that's what you think about when you hear this one. But I mean, you're still going fast. You're just, you know, you're chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Maxing and relaxing. Hey, anyway, that's what we're talking about. Like, lounge quickly. This is what that. Mm hmm. Maxim. <laughs> lounging, lounging quickly. Lounging at a fast pace. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a good song. I really wish Sega would jump more into their their old school properties. Did you guys hear about that new? Um, they're coming out with a little Sega Genesis arcade system. Ah. That's supposed to have um, 
a bunch of it's supposed to have up to 120 arcade games from sega genesis library including um there was a golden axe game that never hit home systems was it three? Oh. uh return to death adder or something like yeah, that yeah 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 that's gonna be on that system and that's technically gonna be the first home release from sega for that game nice so yeah i'm really excited to see what they're gonna do um with the other titles i feel like uh <laughs> this is almost Texas Lawhawk esque. This picture here. <laughs> I don't know what the joke is, but like, uh, I remember um, Tiger Lily was talking about wanting to see Mike as a falconer with Captain Falcon. So. Oh yeah. So uh, Mike, Mike said during the news that that he thought it would be cool to be, and and then he started describing a falconer. Okay. But of course, being Mike, he didn't know that there was a word for such a thing. And Pokemon trainer, right? Yeah. Yeah. This song is so good. It really is. It's so relaxing. There's just something about that oh. Sega sound chip. This wasn't even Genesis, though. This was arcade, right? Uh, I believe this was the arcade version. Yeah, this is the arcade version. But it almost still has that Sega Genesis instrumentation, kind of. Yeah, the thump. Sega thump. Mm-hmm. That Sega twang. <laughs> I, I do appreciate the, um... Uh, the, the radio button that the arcade had. Did it have a radio yeah, it, it literally had a button. dedicated radio button. You're right about that. Yeah, I was just like, whoa, there's a radio? On it? I, I don't know when I remember seeing that arcade, but it was like one of the first ones I remember seeing that was like a single like racer. And I think it was the one that like moved around. It wasn't like the stationary outrun. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought like, oh, cool. It's like an actual car. And then like looking inside it, there's a radio button. It's like, the, you can change the station? <laughs> Yep. I don't know why that one was like the amazing part about a racing game is the those radio details, part man. Of it. Those details that yeah. make it feel more real. I love that kind of stuff. Yeah. But um, anyway, guys, I actually have to take off. But um, this was a lot of fun. It was a ton of fun. It's yeah. always a good time hanging out with you guys and talking good old good old video game music. Absolutely. Or, or, Game tracks. <laughs> In the name. Where can people find you? Are you gonna stream tonight? Uh no, I won't be streaming until until Saturday. I'll be streaming on Saturday. Uh, I'm playing okay. um Donkey Kong Country 3. So right. that'll be a good time. But so yeah. Squirts the elephant, right? Mm-hmm. It has the the elephant. Yeah, squirts the. Uh, where are we? I think I made a joke about that over the. Where are we making a song? Were you there for that? I was making a song. Yeah, cir uh, circle squirts. <laughs> circle squirts. There we go. Yeah. Circle squirts. Gotta have them circle squirts. Circle squirts. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Sometimes I literally forget the stuff that happens in those streams. <laughs> I but, feel you there too. And where where's that where's that stream? Good stuff, man. It's at twitch.tv um, slash game tracks. Yeah, there you go. Twitch.tv slash game tracks. You, you guys already, check me out whenever up. you whenever you get a chance. But yeah. <coughs> Alright, well, take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Have a good one. Right, Stay safe. Bye. Yeah. Alright. Let's see. I think I'm ready to post up on uh on Facebook as well. Perfect time. It's almost three. Good. Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going, Red Nebula Pictures? We actually, I had a clip from Red Nebula yesterday where we sent. Have you been following the uh, the drama with uh, Ray and um, Ray and Mike's no, video? No, drama getting, with Ray. <laughs> Ray and Mike's video getting posted to, let's say, a different video site. Oh. <laughs> okay, I've I've briefly heard about some of that. Yeah, what what's going on specifically? Right, yeah, so... People so, thought my Discord was real. Well, it's okay. really on the site. I'll put it that way. 
Good there's, lord. There's, okay. There's really a video that says, uh, I want to say, grown man gets molested by little girl. And it's it's just a video clip of Mike B being perfected by Ray Upshaw from Tuesday Night Fights. Good lord. And actually, Josh and Jeremy are on the call. Um, <laughs> and that's it. Like, it just plays the video, and that's it. Uh -huh. And, and uh, it got put in the Red Nebula's Discord, and he played it on the air. Or he played, he played, he played it on his computer, not on the air, but you could hear it, right? And then, uh, <laughs> okay. And then he's reacting to it as as it sort of happens on the fly. Like, oh, this is real. I, I clipped the whole thing. That's hilarious. <laughs> so wait, was it Ray who uploaded it? Well, I'm assuming un it was Ray. Unknown. Uh, unknown who okay. uploaded it. It says the the uploader just says Beltran's cab. So apparently, dang, just uploaded from Mike Beltran's actual cabinet. Beltran's cab, the new Bell Delphine, I guess. <laughs> you know, someone posted porn <laughs> in your Discord. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, at least it was not a certain colored tube. Yeah, Red yeah. Bull. Red Nebula, do you mind if I, I play that clip? Oh. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll watch that. I'll, I'll post it up here in a sec. <clears throat> that's, a good, that's a good place to end. Sounds certain good. I will be at Free Play. Hub, yeah. yeah, I'll be at Free Play Richardson today. And yep. I will be setting up utilities and stuff for where I'm going to move. Always fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I've been Gotta have the internet. Absent. Man, I love this song. Sonic 1, right? No, Sonic 2. Sonic 2, yeah. Chemical Zone. I think this came up during... I forget what VGM Wednesday this was, but... For like a week, I couldn't get this song out of my head. I think this came up during Funky. God, now I, gotta, I wanna look up covers of this song right now. And while, while people are still on here, I I want to try to get um, the other guys who are here before um, things started getting back to normal. Um, I want to try to do this live, maybe not on a Wednesday, but during a time that other people can, uh, the normal cast can join us. Would love to hear the, the old crew again. Yeah. And I would, I would love to, to go back to just posting in posting up the content on actual Wednesday um because because it feels like I mean people aren't uh, uh, participating in, in this on the on the actual um, uh, community group because they're they're in here doing this on twitch but I think there's a way to do it both ways right get people on twitch and then post it on community group and yes yes yeah. yeah there's certainly ways to get around it but yeah here, here's the uh here's the the clip from red nebula watching the uh the mic be on a, a certain site which we won't name the name i, I will pause red a oh, friend but red oh, okay. thank you thank you <laughs> uh welcome to the group red nebula. guys Oh, it's Street Fighter. Okay. Guys, the title of that video is so... It's cruelly misleading. Like, it's, 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 it's a offensively misleading. Damn, my baby. This was real? 
There you go. That's hilarious. The name also right above your in there, Mas Master Le Le Master Nebate something, Master something. Freaking hilarious. <laughs> Very misleading. I agree. Tammy is not a little girl. A strong, independent woman. Well, should we uh should we call it a day there? I uh I'll be at Free Play Richardson yeah. today. Um we'll be back next Wednesday for VGM Wednesday. Uh tomorrow we'll be streaming quite a bit. Um tomorrow we have Mike B News at noon. We also have um Matt Johnson doing his Hall of Fame talk around five o'clock. Oh. We have You're cutting off here a little bit, Chris. Sorry. Can you hear me? Uh yes. Okay, so tomorrow we have at noon uh, Mike B. News. At 5 o'clock, we have Matt Johnson and his Hall of Fame induction. We have the Pinballers at 6.30, and we have the live matching game at 8 p.m. As always, we could use contestants, so send me a link if you're interested, or send me a message if you're interested. Uh, Red, Red Nebula, Paul has been a, uh, a panelist twice now. On a live matching game. Paul. Oh. Bargies. Forget the last name. Bargies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, th those have been a blast. Time to be a panelist anytime. Awesome. Would you like to try it out as a contestant, actually? Yeah. The teeth pulling I, is the I think the we're always in search of contestants That's as well. That's the problem. Save these out and then toss them to the group. Captain Beltran, Falcon Beltran. Oh, where should we raid? Uh, huh. Let's see. None of my follow oh my channels. Okay, so. Just toss it to Arcus again and watch him grind away at Ninja Gaiden. Oh, Arcus, yeah. It doesn't say Ninja I'm assuming it's Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, yes. Ninja Gaiden World. Yeah. Grind. Is Taleo somebody that has followed? That's another person that I think. Um... Load or mess with free play. What is this game? Mystic Warriors? Mystic Warriors speedrun. I don't think uh I've ever seen this game. Got a same team that did Sunset Rider. Interesting. Sunset Riders but with like ninjas? I got one here, Nevanos. Running Streets of Rage on the Game Gear. Oh. oh, so you use. The... I'm gonna send it that way. He doesn't like he has a, a he has 21. So. Yeah. Go say hi. Wow, Game Gear to. Streets of Rage. I know it's insane. That's interesting. Yeah. All right, guys. See you guys. Enjoy uh, the the Game Gear Streets of Rage. I'm gonna stick in the chat for a few minutes, and then I'll I'll kick out of here. Have a good time, everybody. Thanks again, Ian. Yeah, no problem. Do this up here. We raid, raid. It continues. It's so weird to see Streets of Rage. Take it, <laughs> fat man. Like Take this. a wank. Pioneer! Mm. I'm an explorer! Mm. I'm a human oh, God. and I'm coming! And the boy coming through uh, with, uh, what? I can't even do my alert thing now. Hey, what's I've the, got balls of steel. What's a free play arcade? Thank you for the Raider Sits. Hope you're doing well. 
I need to do my introduction properly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. How are you meant to deal with this? Holy crap. I've got balls of steel. Give me a moment, guys. <laughs> this is some... Um... Oh, actually, I, I managed to do that. You're meant to jump over and knee him. I guess. All right. Yes, <laughs> sorry guys, I was saying that in a moment. We have free play arcade, man. Welcome to the channel. Hope you had a good stream. And welcome everyone for the raid. Uh, oh, wow, we're here now. <laughs> uh, and red and new blood pictures will follow. And, and Nigel's Neverland will follow. Welcome everyone. <clears throat> Texas Arcade. Oh, sick, man. Like an actual Texas Arcade. Damn, that's a... Uh, That'd be pretty awesome. I've got to see. balls of steel. I'd have to check out your channel Tim for sure. And free play arcades, uh, welcome to your channel as well, man. And Ian Bell Bell Land, welcome to your channel as well. Thank you for the follow. That's so we are. Oh, that's sick. I gotta check you guys out. What are you playing today? I've got balls of steel. What are you playing on your channel? Because uh, I'm gonna take a look at that for sure. Absolutely. Mm. But yeah, man. Hope you had a wonderful time. Uh, welcome everyone again to the channel because um, I, I do I do retro games. Normally I do like these games on like the Monday and the uh, the Friday, but and uh, and then I'll do Doom on a Wednesday and anything else on a Saturday. But um, but this month I'm just doing all retro games from the Mega Drive, the SNES, the, the NES, uh, Game Gear, N64, PS One, yeah, you name it. Uh, we will be doing it by. Uh, <clears throat> on the days I normally stream, so um, so yeah, glad to have you all on board. Mm, a re weekly VGM show, oh sick! And video game music, man, is dope. So yeah. Oh, thank you, mom. Just just meat soup today. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hmm. Dude, I love Street Fighter Two, man. I I grew up with Street Fighter Two. Like me, me and a friend would normally play First Strike, uh, Street Fighter Three First. Check Strike. the lore, all right? Um, on a, on occasion, because that's like that's probably Check that's cool. probably my favorite Street followed. Fighter. Yeah, that's probably my favorite Street Fighter. I think. Um, and that's the game that I know the most. Uh, two two comes close. Uh, Alpha is really good. I really like Four as well. Five not too much. Uh, but I love Street Fighters of like all variety. Like it's it's just such a great series, man. Is really good. Uh, Wednesdays, yeah. We do game music Wednesdays. I think I, I think I gotta follow your channel. Hold on, give me a moment. <laughs> You're still winning, the gorilla. Nice. Let me um, let me give you a follow real quick. I wonder where he's oh, Yeah, that's that's really awesome, man. UK, oh, you have sure, first strike as well. Sick. His time. Very good. Like his accent and also like um. What time it is? This you gotta do like first Germany strike on the too. channel, man. Like you absolutely should do first strike because boy, that's like one of my favorite games. So I'm I'm trying to follow your channel and I'm struggling. <laughs> Give me a moment. Oh, did you? That's amazing. How recent is that? Because um, I want I actually want to see the um, the developers on that. One moment. Um. Turn off my broadcasting. Hello, if you're watching the very end of the check the lore, right? For no reason. Hold on. People are following. 